Islam's Dome of the Rock. At Israel's Holocaust Museum, he met survivors like Joseph Gottenker. I thought I should kiss his hand, not him kiss my hand. A high point of the trip was Francis's invitation to the Israeli and Palestinian presidents to join him at the Vatican next month to pray for peace. Both accepted the invitation. I'm Steve Coleman. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Republicans back a plan for universal lawn care. And an RC car works up the courage to approach a group of girls. And now a recap of the week's news for those who like to waste their summers surfing the internet. Fall, the long-running series of shorter days and cooler nights, was canceled this week after nearly three billion seasons on Earth. The classic period of the year, which once occupied the coveted slot between summer and winter, will be replaced by new stifling humidity levels and near constant sunshine. A shiny, bobbing object in the water is generating fascination among members of the fish community, who have described it as pleasingly wiggly and minnow-esque. Aquatic experts say that decisive action must be taken against the object very soon. In local news, just when 27-year-old Andrew Sheets didn't think his vacation could get any better, a rerun of Spin City came on. And in other headlines, a bee stuck between the screen and front door is going f***ing nuts. And a water skier lets go of the crossbar to greet those not currently water skiing. This is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you like. Just dial toll-free to 855-453. That's 855-450-3733, and you can join us online. Our Skype username, by the way, is lrn.fm. Feel free to send a contact request our way. It will be approved, and once it's approved, it'll be easy for you to get on the air with us here to talk about whatever happens to be on your mind, as is the point of Free Talk Live. Joining you in studio tonight, Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. Toll free number again, 855-450-FREE. We're going to talk about a uh, pretty serious issue here and an unusual perspective, I guess, on it, an unusual pers- presentation on this issue, and that is rape. But in this case, Mark, you have a story about males getting raped by females. Certainly, it's more common, I would think, that males are raped by males uh, but I, you know, I don't know. I can't say I've ever really heard very much about female instigated rape. I and- have um, seen a TV show, like one of those crime uh, dramas or whatever that was that covered the issue. I don't remember what it was. It might have been Law and Order. Don't don't. Uh, but um, I, I don't rem- right, rightly remember which one it was. I guess I didn't take it very seriously because when I read this article, I got to say that I, I didn't. <laughs> It's it's difficult for me to take. I guess it's been difficult for me the whole time. This has challenged a lot of perspectives. It's been difficult for me to take this seriously. My wife, on the other hand, thinks I'm an a-hole. Um, and when I you know talked to her about this, I tried to be frank about what my thoughts were, and she didn't agree at all. So, I think it's interesting, and uh, you know, it, it may challenge lots of preconceptions. There's going to be a lot of people on you know different genders on different sides of this issue. I think it's going to be very interesting it's tough for you to take it seriously because of the the relative physical strength of the man versus the woman yeah i think that uh, they they pointed out something there's some uh, line in here about bro culture and i apparently i fit into that um because i just you know it's like all right it happened you know okay Hold you on. do you you're do a have, bro what i don't know i don't even know what it is he does have great hair <laughs> what does that have to do with being a bro I don't know what a bro is, but I I think of them all as having good hair and uh, natty dressers. I'm not that anymore. <laughs> Big what, biceps. Why do you qualify as a bro? It's just the terminology that was used in the article. Do you want me to go hunting for the thing, or do you want me to start reading the article? Yeah, I don't really know. I'm not really sure what you were referencing when you were saying you were a bro. It was kind of confusing to me. Just There's curious. a line in here that uh, that claims something to the effect of, uh, you know, bros don't take this very seriously or something like that. Bros don't take the idea of women raping males seriously. Yes. I see what you're saying. And, okay. uh, you know, I, I, 
I guess I qualified for that. A now, bro, according to Urban Dictionary, is an obnoxious partying male who are often seen at college parties. I'm not thinking that you really qualify here. When they aren't making an ass of themselves, they usually just stand around holding a red plastic cup, waiting for something exciting to happen so they can scream something that demonstrates how much they enjoy partying. <laughs> Nearly everyone in a fraternity is a bro, but there are also many bros who are not in a fraternity. They often wear a rugby shirt and a baseball cap. It is not uncommon for them to have spiked hair with frosted tips. Bros actually chose this name for themselves, as they often refer to each other as bro, even though they are not related. Bruh. Uh, so, nope, it's bro, not bra. Bros, uh, excuse me, here's, I guess, an excerpt of what a bro might say. I couldn't go to sleep last, or I guess using the term bro, I couldn't go to sleep last night because some bros at the party next door kept screaming, Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> So, there you go. I don't really think you're a, you're a bro. His hair is a little frosted. Uh, would it work in the sun <laughs> if so? No, it's just, that's just gray hair caused by working with Ian for too long. Go ahead then. So from Vocative.com, the title of the article is The Hard Truth About Girl-On-Guy Rape. Charlie woke up, and this is the, the you've got to have the, um, the mandatory uh, sort of anecdotal story. So let's give that here, um, here. Charlie woke up to a blank-faced girl straddling him. He'd been disrobed, was erect, and her hips began to shift in short, quick movements. He realized he was inside of her, frozen with disbelief. Charlie laid still. He faked climaxing, hoping it would prompt her to dismount and leave the room. Eventually she did, but only after he rolled to his side and pretended to sleep. The next morning, Charlie wasn't sure what to think. He had an underclassman he knew only by name. Really, had, had she really re-entered his room and had her way with him as he slept? It all seemed so absurd, like the makings of an awkward dream. Except Charlie had zero interest in this girl. He'd never spoken to her, kissed her, or even tried to catch her eye. He felt neither lucky nor flattered, just extremely perturbed. Hmm. The most traumatic part was the complete assumption of consent, he tells uh, me nearly two decades later. I was physically revolted by the experience. It just felt so shockingly wrong. The concept of a woman forcing a man into sex can seem paradoxical, if not for um, phys physiologically impossible. The assumption, likely shared by Charlie's abuser, is that guys are always in the mood and an, erect an erection constitutes consent. Hmm. But, there's a un uh, but there's a uniquely afflicted class of male victims who would strongly disagree. Lost in a cultural blind spot... They've been left to suffer in silence without resources and often without empathy of family or friends. And that's terrible for anybody under any circumstance. I'm certainly not going to um, deny that. And when you're talking about 7 billion people on the planet, I tend to think that there's going to be somebody on every side of an issue. So mm -hmm. I can't dismiss this. One thing's for certain um, is anybody who's, uh, you know, People know that uh, you can get an erection even when it's not, you know, some it's not consent. It seems to me. Certainly, there's science to back it up. According to the Center for D Disease Control's National Survey on Sexual Violence, more than five million men in the United States have been made to penetrate. Now, this is a term that they they're going to use over and over in here to describe a different sort of uh, rape. So, made to penetrate is what they're using here. Someone. So, before you go on uh, with this, just to clarify, this dude woke up. He was inside a uh, female, which he didn't really know how he got into that position yep. with her. Uh huh. Uh, presumably, he was inebriated the night prior. You can, you can make that presumption. Does, That's not in the does, story. Well, he says he doesn't know how she got in there. He doesn't. You know, was it, it was his room? It sounded like she was in there with him. He could have a roommate, um, and she just. Whatever. That's true. Um, he did suggest that she was an underclassman. Sounds like a college situation. There's yep. usually drinking that goes on in, uh, in you're college. You're just assuming the alcohol you're here. Right. I don't you're know right. the I answer. I don't have enough to go on here. I don't. Uh, you're right. I mean, there's, if there was been... alcohol involved, would that make it okay? Well, we wouldn't know whether it was consensual or not if he didn't remember. He's consenting. claiming it's not consensual. Okay, turn the turn the tables. You're going to have to do this a lot during this article. If you. We're in a situation with a college upperclassman where she claimed that you had sex and you initiated it while she was asleep, unconscious, passed out, whatever term you wish to use there. She had been drinking. Does that sound like rape to you? I think that's a bad thing for somebody to do. Absolutely. Um, I, I don't think that she was right 
to do that necessarily, but I don't know if it's really right because the person consented to allowing, let's presume that he, when drunk, uh, allowed her to come and sleep with him. I mean, that sort of suggests that maybe sex might be on uh, on the radar, right? I've slept in a bed with a, uh, more than one woman with whom... Uh, you know, sex was not consent. She, she mm-hmm. would not have consented. She was was not willing to consent. I know. I asked, mm-hmm. and it didn't go. It didn't go the way that I wanted it to go. So, no, being in the same bed does not constitute consent. Okay, but he didn't say no, did he? Now that I think is interesting. Now, note it says that he laid still. And, and faked an orgasm. Pretended to climax. I don't mm-hmm. know exactly what that constituted, but probably some noise making. You know, does does if he moved, what if if he moved even though he didn't consent to the initiation of sex, if he moved in any way, shape, or form afterwards, does that then make the um you know not him not having given consent? Does that make that part not rape? I don't understand the question. Okay, one more time. One more time. <laughs> Maybe if he starts getting into it to play along and you know thrusting and so forth, mm-hmm. that could be considered consent. To, right. Uh, that if he's seem conscious, that way, if he's conscious and she's manipulating him sexually, and he doesn't say no, uh, you could suggest that that's consent. Right. Well, at this point, he did nothing apparently to he stop it from happening. Right. Yeah, he could he have did. said, "Whoa, what's uh, going on here?" Right. Like that would be, uh, you know, hey, but, hey lady, <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> some like some kind of verbal cue to say that this wasn't going to go the way I wanted it he to. He could say, "Stop." Okay. So uh, it, no, but the term made to penetrate is not inaccurate. All right, well, we'll find out what that means here in a moment. 855 450 free. You can share your thoughts here. Free talk live. Gold Bond presents Shaquille O'Neal. So I'm hanging out with my Gold Bond buddies, and they're like, Shaq, Shaq, great job with the Gold Bond powder spray. People love it. So I'm soaking in the good vibes, kicking off my shoes. Next thing I know, they're coming out with a new foot powder spray. Boom. Shaq strikes again. Gold Bond No Mess Powder Spray cools and refreshes your body, and new Gold Bond Foot Powder Spray has two times the odor-absorbing powders to do the same for your feet. Stay cool with Gold Bond. Summer is almost here, which means it's time to get out and play. And at the Guitar Center Memorial Day Sale, you'll find some of our lowest prices of the year on the best gear throughout the store. And with deals like Toka Djembe drums for only 19 bucks, or Squire Stratocaster electric guitars for only 89 bucks, or a digital reference mic for just 10 bucks, the only question is, where will you play? Guitar Center's Memorial Day Sale, now through Monday, in-store and online. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. If you are like most people, chances are you're malnourished. Most people do not get the 90 essential nutrients the body needs to survive. This lack of nutrition can lead to all sorts of health issues. If you don't feel as good as you'd like, or if you're looking to get a jump start on a new, healthier you, Longevity has your answer. With the Healthy Start Pack, you get all the nutrients your body needs. With all 90 essential nutrients and 115 fruits and vegetables, you get a supplement system that is antioxidant rich and beyond compare. The Healthy Start Pack includes products backed by 40 years of science and millions of dollars in research, like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, EFA Plus 90, and OsteoFX Plus. To order your Healthy Start Pack today, call 607-739-5595. Again, that number is 607-739-5595. Once you start taking the Healthy Start Pack, you will see and feel why our motto is 90 for life. 
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever's on your mind. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And we're talking about rape tonight, pretty serious uh, subject, though from a bit of a different perspective. This time, males are the victims, and females are the rapists. Uh, how often that actually happens is a good question. I imagine it's somewhat underreported, as a lot of rapes uh, of females tend to be. Uh, underreported, as I understand it. You can share your thoughts. Any experiences you have certainly are welcome at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And as far as uh, your security, your personal security is concerned, I recommend The Door Devil. We've got one here at the LRN.FM studio. I had my handyman install it, and he said, as I asked him his assessment afterwards of what he thought of the product, he said he thought it was very, very good, and he was impressed with it. So you can go and check Low it out. Low cost, too. Yeah, very affordable. About 60 bucks will permanently reinforce your door, which, of course, is the place that burglars are statistically the most likely to attack. Why? Well, because uh, the, the burglar knows, if you've got an alarm system, for instance, that if he gets in that front door, there's going to be a minute or two that the homeowner usually has to go and shut off the alarm before it'll actually trigger. So that gives him a full minute or two to go ahead and ransack the house. And so the door's a typical uh, typical target. You can shore it up by getting a door devil. Go to doordevil.com. That's doordevil.com. All right. So we're talking about rape. Mark, you opened the, uh, the you said this fairly lengthy uh, story here from what was the the website again? Vocative.com. Vocative, where it opens with a story about a uh, man in high in not high school in college. He uh, he awakens to having a female mounted already to him. Um, he finishes, apparently, although he said he faked an orgasm. It's not clear. I thought he said he faked, uh... He faked, and, uh, so, I mean, I could read that part yeah, to you I'm pretty again. pretty sure he said he faked an orgasm to that's make correct, it That's correct, but that doesn't mean finishing, right? That, that's why I corrected myself to say that he faked an orgasm. Right. I didn't mean that he finished. That was a mistake. I was saying he he faked an orgasm to try to end the so thing sooner. But what I was pointing out was that he didn't tell her no. He didn't say get off of me. He didn't in 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 any way indicate that what she was doing was not welcome. And so to me, that's not that's not rape. It's definitely questionable. Like why would you want to have sex with somebody while they were asleep? That's weird. Number one, it seems almost like a necrophiliac thing. I don't know what the word is. Like, you know, necrophiliac is de dealing with corpses. There's probably some word for wanting to have sex with somebody while they're sleeping. The dormophiliac. Is that right? I don't know. I'm just making it's good it up. enough. <laughs> Narcophilia. Narcophilia. Well, narcolepsy is when you uncontrollably fall asleep. Yeah, it's we true. should not be playing with either Latin or Greek. We are so, completely unqualified. Anyway, jump into this here. You said there's something about unauthorized. What was it? Uh, hold on just a second. The, the terminology um, that they're using here is made to penetrate. Made to penetrate. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, um, going on. I thought you were going to ask me something about that part, so I was going back to it. So let me let me pull it up here. According to the Center for Disease Control's National Survey on Sexual Violence, more than 5 million men in the United States have been made to penetrate someone else in their lifetime, whether by coercion, intimidation, or because they were incapacitated. 
incapacitated. In largely a largely overlooked study focusing exclusively on college males, 51.2% of participants reported experiencing at least one incident of sexual victimization, including unwanted sexual contact, 21.7%, sexual co- coercion, 12.4%, rape, 17.1%. Of course, most men assume that they'd be ostracized for reporting such emasculating violations, so the real numbers are likely to be a lot higher, is the claim. Since that initial morning after, Charlie tried his best to shrug off the whole thing. He was in college, after all, a time when sexual encounters are habitually fleeting. But the more he replayed the story in his head, the more he realized he was it was actually wearing on him. I didn't really have the mental framework to encapsulate it as a, a violation at the time. It was just really an, an invasive in experience. All I could think was, is how do I get this to end? How do I get this to end without hurting her? And, um, you know, I think it's, I think this is interesting because what I have, to, what I kept doing during this article is kind of looking at this from the other perspective. We're told all the time that rapists are male and, the raped or female. And, you know, when I look at it from that circumstance, if you, if, if you had done the, the same thing, Ian, um, to, in this situation, you, you know, you, it would be full on, no doubt, no one would be asking any questions, rape. So when you say looking at it from the other perspective, you mean switching the genders of the switching participants? Switching the genders, yeah. So if well, you, I've actually been given permission to do that and I still won't do it because it's creepy. It's weird. <laughs> well, to me, at least, your 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 proclivities really don't matter to me. But the fact is, is that if well, if, if somebody gives you permission in advance, and it's definitely not rape. I right? think not. Yeah. I would think not. Well, I mean, I I guess that I can claim this. Um, if if that's what I wanted to do, I do not want to claim that. But uh, I've had sex initiated on me without having given permission for it to happen while you were sleeping, or just while in I general? was sleeping. Yeah. Okay. I mean. Uh, you know, I've had ex-girlfriends come in my house because they knew my garage code. Mm-hmm. I've had uh, current girlfriends. Uh, you know, I, it's not like we ever discussed it, and it's not like I was upset by any stretch. Right. Um, but the non-consent aspect was there, I, I guess. Well, that's just, I guess, that's the question, right? Like, at what point does consent not uh, does consent become, or does the situation become consensual? I would say that it's generally consensual if you don't. Stop someone if you don't well, say let, stop. But let me ask th- you this. Suppose, okay, put me in this role. Suppose I decide, huh, there's a drunk or sleeping woman there in front of me. She hasn't said no. I will go ahead and initiate something upon her. Wait for her to say stop, wait, don't, whatever, some something in the negative. And when she does, I'll stop. Have I committed rape by the current so- sociological standards? You bet your sweet bippy I have. And, Ian, that's what happened here. Mm. So I don't think that the necessarily by standards that we use today, and I tend to agree with those standards, that you have to wait until you get some kind of negative reinforcement for your un- cons- non-consensual initiation. Well, now, I do but agree with you. at the same time, that- I don't want to stop this non-consensual initiation in my life. I would like yeah. any opportunity I can get, uh, you know, for that to occur. So, I mean, it's it's just weird. Not any opportunity, well, I mean, but for my wife, I suppose. Yeah, and I do, I do understand, and and I agree. Like, I feel like when it's a guy doing it, it seems more. It seems more rapey, doesn't right, it? Right, doesn't like- it? Now, that, my friend, is a, is a gender stereotype. You have been socialized to believe that a guy is more dangerous than a woman. But, you know, the old saying is that uh, uh, God created man and Sam Colt made him, e- made him equal. So the idea that a woman with a gun and a man with a gun, they're just as deadly. Your thoughts are certainly welcome here at 855-450-FREE. What do you think, Johnny Ray? I think you've been socialized by reality that men are more dangerous than women, especially in a situation like that an intimate situation where neither one of them was armed. I think maybe this guy is just upset because he, he didn't have, he he did, he didn't man up and get her off of him. If it was so revolting, you're a bro. (laughs) Then, then, then you grab her by the shoulders and push her away. You don't you don't pretend to orgasm and then yeah. feel conflicted about it later. Yeah, I agree. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. That's pretty terrible advice for women, though, isn't it? 
But women and men are different. <laughs> Wait, why would that be bad advice for a woman? That a woman who didn't want to consent to something like that should also push the person away and say, no, get off of me. More coming up here. This is Free Talk Live. You can take control. Gentlemen, in search of a million-dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride-free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We are talking about rape, this time, though, from the male's perspective as a victim. 
meaning that females uh, raping males, although certainly there are plenty of instances of males raping males, uh, we're talking about females raping males, and Mark's got a story about that. We're going to continue here in moments. Also, want to invite you to our website. You can get interactive in a variety of different ways at freetalklive.com. You can also send us bitcoins via the Bitcoin tip jar at bitcoin.freetalklive.com. What's that you say? You don't have bitcoins yet? Well, you can just go to cashintocoins.com to get some. You do need to have a Bitcoin wallet in order to put the Bitcoins into them, uh, into said wallet. But uh, once you've got your wallet, say from blockchain.info, you can go to cashintocoins.com. It is easy, safe, fast, legal, inexpensive, and customer service is their top priority. Cashintocoins.com. You can donate some of the, uh, the fee that they'll collect to charity. And if you order less than $40 a Bitcoin, then there's no fee. It's that great of a deal at cashintocoins.com, cashintocoins.com. So we have been talking about rape. We're going to get back into that topic here, but Ty's on the line in Tennessee. Ty, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, I just uh, was listening to the Weekly Digest, and there was mention of some sort of a uh, scandal involving the CFC, the Combined Federal Campaign. Yeah, the CFC uh, is uh, some sort of a charity operation within the federal government that accepts contributions from federal employees to supposedly help pe uh, poor people. And there's a yeah, lot of corruption in there where these uh, not, CFC people... Not were... exactly. Not exactly that way. I mean, at least from my experience with it, I was in the military for 23 years. And every year they would have this CFC, the Combined Federal Campaign. And what it is is that it's against the law for charities to individually solicit members of the military. You know, otherwise we'd be bombarded. We would have been bombarded with charity, you know, people bugging us for charities all the time. So they created this system, the combined federal campaign, to where they do it all at once. And what you, what a guy would get, or a girl, you know, the service members would get is a catalog of all these different charities and you could choose which ones you wanted to uh, give to. It wasn't you were providing money to the CFC. You're providing money to specific charities. And those charities were ranked. They were given a percentage of how much of their uh, contributions went directly to the cause and how much went to administrative overhead. So I don't know how this, this group of people were getting money and from this and, and abusing it because well, according, you know, I mean, maybe um, obviously you've had some experience with it, and I certainly haven't. But when we were reading the story about it, we were digging up a little bit of info on the CFC. It gave uh, revenues as far as how much they'd collected in contributions, and I presume it's going to them before it's going to these charities because the the amount of money that was contributed within the last year or two was uh, over two hundred million dollars per year. Or the charities yeah. give a certain amount to the federal government as administrative costs, and it's uh, you know it's in the rankers that you guys got, um, and and then you know that that's the money that was abused. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how. I, I, this is something I'd like to look into uh, more because I, I used to give every every year to various charities. I always gave to like the U.S. So because it helped the service guys, you know, when they were overseas and needed a place to sleep or something like that, you know, uh, and and various other things that I thought were good causes and they and they had good percentages. So I'm I'm just very shocked to hear that there was some abuse going on here and. and uh, I know that everybody in the military gets hit up for this every year, and I've actually done work for the CFC at my command. I've volunteered to, to you know, go around and, and hit people up to, to uh, make their contributions. The contributions were made through payroll deductions, you know, automatic allotments. That, well, you know, I don't know would, why it's it so shocking to you, Ty. I mean, it's a federal agency. They have money. It shouldn't be a surprise that they're spending it in all manner of ridiculous and lavish ways on themselves. Well, it's shocking. It's shocking to me now because I never had thought about it. You know, yeah. at the time when I when when you go through the program, it all looks you know rosy and and up front, and they they give numbers. You know, they're, like I said, they provide percentages of how much your money actually goes to the cause. So if you've got a, a cause to where you see that only seventy five percent actually goes to the to the people that you want to help and 25% of the overhead, you're going to say, no, I want to give it to somebody else that, you know, more of my money is actually going to go to the cause. 
So I don't know where these people were, you know, how, I don't know how, I don't know how the CFC group got their money because, like I said, when I worked for doing the CFC drive, it was a collateral duty. You know, it was something I still had my normal duties. Mm -hmm. And this was something I would do on my off time, and I would approach people and say, hey, hey, here's the catalog, you know, take a look. Most people had the things, you know, that had been in for a while. They had their pet programs that they donated to uh, on an annual basis. And, that, you know, you just knew it was going to be happening. And a lot of them already knew the codes. You know, they would already – you just give them the envelope, and they would fill out the codes. And so, Ty, according to, uh, according to the Wikipedia article on the CFC, the total – in 2011, CFC pledges totaled 272.7 million. Uh, yeah, so. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, because of that money, when you're giving it, they're they're saying that you know whatever your charities are, that a certain percentage goes toward their administrative, and a certain percentage yep. goes to to the to the cause that you're going to. So, I'm well, yeah, I guess that what they're not telling you is that there's also a portion that the CFC administrators are taking for themselves. Yeah, they're probably that yeah. probably doesn't come into that those numbers at all. Those numbers probably come from the organizations themselves, and I suspect they may be audited by some some other federal organization. But the money first goes to the CFC office, and which, right. which certainly is centralized, to. and yeah. then and then they send the money on from there, and. You know, from b between After the time they them get it, themselves. yeah, and the time that they send it out, they can do what they want with it. That's what I think is going on there, Ty. Thanks for the yeah, call tonight. You're, you're right. You're right, though. I shouldn't be shocked. <laughs> right. But, uh, uh, you know, it's just it's shocking after the fact because I've, I've been retired since 2005. So now hearing this story, it's like, man, all those years I gave because I I gave every year, 23 years I gave. And it's yeah. like, man, how you much of my money You made some bureaucrats really happy. Thanks for the call, okay. Ty. I appreciate hearing from you. <laughs> Probably better you not find out. You know, he's wondering how much of the money that he gave sure, ended sure. up in the bureaucrat's pockets. Probably better at this point that you just move on because it's gone and you're not getting it back. So does it really matter? 855-450 free is the toll-free number here tonight. We've been talking about rape. Actually, I'd asked the question on Hootsuite or on uh, Facebook, etc. If you drunkenly allow someone into your bed, now that's the part we were talking about this uh, males being raped by females story, Mark, that we're going to continue on here in a moment. Um, and we don't know if he was drunk when he allowed this woman into his bed or if he allowed her into but the bed. But you speculated that because of his age and being in a college dormitory. That's right. If you drunkenly allow someone into your bed, then wake up with them having sex with you and you don't tell them to stop, is that rape? Here are the answers, as uh, you have posted on our Facebook page. Lee Kornshev says, no, that's not rape. It isn't always obvious how intoxicated a person is and how sound their judgment it's not on some guy I invite into bed to be responsible to judge my soundness of mind. If I think I might make a poor choice when drunk and regret it after, I could opt not to drink to excess or to arrange with a trusted friend to ensure I don't do anything unwise. Choosing to drink is choosing to make decisions with poor judgment. If I made other choices in life by closing my eyes and randomly selecting or by asking someone to choose for me, I'd still be responsible for my choice couple of people say they don't think that it's rape. Just quick answers from them. Alex Shea says rape or whatever. It is, rape is whatever the woman at any point says it is. If you're a jerk to her later and she regrets having sex with you, guess what? Don't take advantage of people. Then be rude to them. Donovan Kabalka says it's the law in most, if not every state, that drunk people cannot consent to sex. So even if you said yes while drunk, is that true? I have uh, I've heard that claim, but consider for a second that that's going to be based on gender and you know size of the victim and and just a whole bunch of things. You, I, people that are sufficiently have sufficiently low IQs cannot consent to sex either. We'll come back with more uh, plenty and, and uh, alcohol certainly lower your sure IQ. I, I've been raped many times in that case. <laughs> All right, let's come back with more here in moments. Here eight fifty five four fifty free eight five five four five zero three seven three three. This is Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. 
AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial. 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. And when you call 1-800-721-4255 today, you can have it tomorrow. Proactive Plus is the modern acne miracle that treats your skin beautifully. The plus means more. More precise, targeted medicine for faster, gentler acne prevention. And more skin-loving solutions so your complexion can look bright and beautiful. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-721-4255. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus. Guaranteed 100% risk-free. You won't see this limited-time offer on TV. It's a radio exclusive. 1-800-721-4255. 1-800-721-4255. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through Porkfest, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at keenvention.info. Visit keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big-time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest Liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up whatever's on your mind, 855-450-FREE. Especially, we'd love to hear from you if you've got some opinions about uh, defining rape. We're talking about specifically males who have been raped by females. Fairly unusual subject of discussion. I can't say for sure we've ever really delved into this before on Free Talk Live. So if you've got experience as perhaps one of the victims in this situation, so far the only story in this, what you say is going to be a fairly long piece, Mark, is that uh, a young man who uh, claims he was raped in his college dorm by a girl he didn't know uh, who was in his bed, or I guess he knew of her, but wasn't interested in being with her. Knew nothing more of her than her name. He woke up to her having mounted him and having sex with him, and uh, he did not tell her to stop. He did not push her off, say no. 
uh, he went ahead and and uh, faked an orgasm in order to cut it short, I suppose. But he wasn't necessarily ex- uh, successful. It said eventually she did leave, um, but yeah. only after he had rolled over and pretended to go to sleep. Right. And so you're welcome to share your thoughts here at 855-450-FREE. I was reading some of the responses to my question on Facebook, which uh, was, if you drunkenly allow someone into your bed, then wake up with them having sex with you and you don't tell them to stop. Is that rape? Ashley Parsons says, yes, they didn't ask permission. It is rape. I have had that happen to me. And the guy's excuse was, I thought you were awake. Um, Matthew Richards responds saying, I thought you were awake always means I knew you were unconscious, but I valued my own pleasure over your right not to get raped. Kyle Jack says, rather than trying to skate a gray area, why don't we get enthusiastic consent from our sex partners and only have sex with them when they really want to have sex? Don't have sex with someone who is so clearly wasted that they can't rationally consent. Show a little control. To say I completely agree with that perspective. I'm fine with that perspective, but, you know, like I've said, this has happened to me. Um, Somebody has initiated sex with me while Mm -hmm. I was sleeping. Intercourse or like a BJ? um, Yeah, yeah, I I, I don't remember the specifics, but I suspect the uh, the latter rather than the former. Okay. Um, But... You know, and I want to thank them, each and every one of them, for it. Now, <laughs> you know, obviously I don't think that this would be true with every person that uh, might want to do this, but the people who did it, yeah, that's fine. So do you want to cut that out in your life, too? I suppose you could just say, hey, um, you know, you could just go around preemptively saying, hey, it would be okay if you decided to initiate sex with me while I was sleeping. And finally, uh, Matthew Richard says, it is rape if you did not give enthusiastic consent or at least consciously acquiesced to it. So different viewpoints here. Some people say this is rape. Other people saying, no, definitely not rape. Well, but note, I I get the impression that everybody assumes that the rape E here is a female and the rape er is a male. I didn't make that clear in my question. And consider that that is the lens through which this entire article is looked at. And that's why I find this article challenging is because is it's very interesting to look at this from the other side. And I was able to look I was able to look at rape in a whole new way simply by reading the article. All right, let's go on. Made to penetrate, that's the term they keep using here, cases are all the more complicated because of a man's lack of autonomy over his own uh, genitalia. It was too late to tell her I wasn't interested in having sex because she was already having it with me, Charlie says. It was also... That's not true. It's not too late. I I agree with you, um, but he didn't see it that way. Mm. It was also unexpected. Consider that your, um, your, not just the license you have over your own genitalia, but the license you have over your own ability to say yes or no, and your license... You know, like, I've made mistakes in my life I often will think about those things wishing I had done something different. This is probably what beats this guy up to some extent, too. If he would have just said, no, stop, I'll bet you she would have stopped. Just a guess. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, yeah, that's certainly true, although I have to say that the the level of trauma here doesn't seem to be on the level of, like, the typical rape, like the rape at gunpoint or knife point or under that's the threat the of violence. That's the rape you're supposed to think about, right? Right, well, that's what I'm saying here, like, that this guy is still thinking about this 20 years later, really? Well, to some extent, I also wonder, uh, there's there's some t- statistics coming up. He wasn't up. coerced. Well, we, we've read some statistics, and there's more coming up, and somebody's cranking somebody on these statistics, and... Like they also say, some people aren't reporting on these statistics too. It's true. So, so I don't know. Are there people that you know think they're oh, this is funny? I'll just go ahead and uh, you know give some you know silly story. Yep, there are. You can believe it. So going on, um, it it was so unexpected. Just because a man gets erect doesn't necessarily mean he's enjoying it. As with female and victims, uh, sexual arousal can be involuntary. Even ejaculation cases in in a male rape are often the result of mechanical, biological response and not a sign of hot-blooded desire. Charlie and his abuser never spoke after the incident. He says he spent the rest of his senior year in fear of the story getting out. He would see her whispering with her friends as they looked his way, and he grew paranoid by what she might say. (laughs) I had this worry that if anyone heard about it, I would seem like a monster or a predator, he says. I was 20. She was 18. I was a guy. She was a girl. It was my understanding that only men could commit sex crimes, so pretty much anything would have been more believable than the truth. 
I don't really understand his concern. So what if he if people find out that he had sex with this girl? I mean, this is like uh, the, the the viewpoint well, that people believe that everybody's talking about them. That's <laughs> hardly the case. Oftentimes, victims feel that way, though. They really do. Oftentimes, victims... Re- re- remember, the, the, the term victim... I have a tough time calling this guy a victim. I really do. He did not say no at any point. He was not coerced into this. Now, it's certainly, you don't but have to be coerced in like order for like a victim to be at the same time, yeah. right? Like, there's, a, there's this attitude of being a victim. And you can be that even if you haven't been victimized. I mean, you know, it, it happens all the time. People mm-hmm. feel victimized when they have not, in fact, been victimized. I, I think that he was victimized, and I think that he that Charlie was raped, but I don't think that he should care about it. I haven't had this situation where, where I woke up to a strange person that I definitely didn't want to be having sex with, having sex with me. I imagine if that happened, I may have done the same thing that Charlie did just to spare her feelings. I don't think that I would feel uh, that, that it would eat me up inside. Considering with a with a violent rape, the victim is probably not concerned about the feelings of the rapist. You know, if, if you're being violently raped uh, and the victim has a weapon, they are likely to use it because they're not concerned about the feelings of the rapist. So to me, that's another indicator that this isn't actually a rape that we're talking about here. This is an awkward sexual situation that this guy didn't know how to handle. He's probably right, it goes on, saying, of the uh, 20,100 suspects arrested, arrested for forcible rape in 2010, fewer than 1% were, it says less than 1%, less than 1% were female. Mm. A victim, perpetrator, gender divide that's all but uh, cemented in public per- perception. Gender roles may have evolved in the years since Charlie's ordeal, but our assumptions about who takes advantage of whom remain rigid, despite evidence to the contrary. A recent study of sexual violence found that women, by age of 18, were almost equally as likely as men to commit sexual abuse at 48% and 52%, respectively. Um, I don't know what... Sexual abuse. That's the terminology. And does this mean that 48% of 18-year-old women are likely to commit... Likely, sexual uh, abuse. Commit act? sexual abuse. Crazy That's to what me. What they're suggesting. I don't know what that even means. So I don't either. I think it's we've got we've gotten very sort of touchy about what these things are. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know, but and as evidenced by the um, the posters in our thread there saying that look we should have enthusiastic consent. Well, what does that mean? Because I remember the colleges back in the d- the day. Um, you know, it's been ten years or whatever. But they wanted you to, they wanted males specifically to. Ask permission for everything. May I please place my hand under your shirt? <laughs> May I please kiss you with my t- mouth That's open? That's ridiculous. Well, it's a little ridiculous. But this was exactly what was happening. There was a time people are people are listening. Men are listening and nodding because they know what I'm talking about. Is that you're supposed to get consent everywhere along the way? And yes, yes, enthusiastically, yes. Well, that just you know, kills the mood. Right? It's I mean. weird. <laughs> it's, but the idea of the people that put this this plan together is to change sexual encounters to the mm-hmm. point that that does in fact put you in the mood mm-hmm. is asking every little bit of the way and i suppose you could make it turn it into a little bit of a game but every time it gets a little tedious no, it's not fun no nope. so <laughs> i don't know it took charlie now 41 year a 41 year old software developer 15 years to start talking about what happened to him and when he finally told a few friends their reactions went something like this weird i guess she just thought you were hot Reddit users, however, were more sympathetic. Same boat here, brother, wrote uh, one user in response to Charlie's confessional post. Sleep, rape, rape, fist bump. Uh, Formulas like the often controversial men's rights subreddit have become a haven for emotionally battered victims and frustrated men in general. Um, Like group therapy. It's a place where they can share their stories anonymously and connect connect with others without feeling vulnerable. All right, we'll come back. Uh, Your thoughts certainly welcome here as we uh, roll into hour number two at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Have you as a male been raped by a female? Uh, And, of course, probably most of you didn't report it if you were. We're coming up. It's Free Talk Live. 
This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, May 27th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.13 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,279 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $565. Antiwar.com reports, reporters on the ground in the protester-held city of Slovyansk, Ukraine, say that at least three civilians were killed and more wounded yesterday when a mortar attack strayed into a residential neighborhood landing near an apartment block. The apartment block was not directly hit, but the impact shattered windows and many people were cut with flying glass. A second shell hit near a local college with similar results. Slovyansk and its neighboring city of Kramatorsk have been a primary target of the Ukrainian military as the first major cities in the northwest of the Donetsk Oblast. Gun battles were reported in several villages near the area as well. Some reports suggested that the Ukrainian military shelling was retaliation for mortar strikes by a militia loyal to the secessionist People's Republic of Donetsk, though reporters say that at this point it is unclear who fired first, and both maintain their fire was retaliatory. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. Fans are friends, allies, and numerous supporters. Fans help FPP afford to produce more original content. You can join the fans program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month, thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the fans program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S dot The International Times reports, back from a surprise trip to Afghanistan, U.S. President Barack Obama said on Monday, the Afghan war, the longest in American military combat, will finally be over by the end of 2014. In a Memorial Day speech in Arlington, Obama said, we're at a pivotal moment. Our troops are coming home. By the end of this year, our war in Afghanistan will finally come to an end. 
Obama said he had gone to Afghanistan on the Memorial Day weekend to be with the troops who are serving the cause of U.S. security 7,000 miles from home. In his remarks in Bagram, Obama had reiterated the U.S. post-2014 commitment to the Afghans and promised, now, even as our combat mission ends later this year, I want everybody to know in this country and across the region, America's commitment to the people of Afghanistan will endure. With our strategic partnership, we'll continue to stand with Afghans as they strengthen their institutions, as they build their economy, as they improve their lives, men and women, boys and girls. Al-Qaeda is on its heels in this part of the world, and that's because of you. Adding, everyone knows Afghanistan is still a very dangerous place. He said the U.S. would be prepared to continue cooperation with its Afghanistan partners on two security missions, training and equipping the Afghan forces and targeting counterterrorism targets against Al-Qaeda. In a comment that seems to indicate the war will never really end, Obama told the troops, our combat mission here will come to an end. The Al-Qaeda leadership may be on the ropes, but in other regions of the world, Al-Qaeda affiliates are evolving and pose a serious threat. We're going to have to stay strong and we're going to have to stay vigilant. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. Press TV reports China has carried out a broadside against the United States spying operations, saying they forced their way into every corner of the country. A report prepared by the China Academy of Cyberspace says U.S. spying operations penetrate every corner of China. The report said targets of American surveillance include the Chinese government and Chinese leaders, Chinese companies, scientific research institutions, ordinary netizens, and a large number of cell phone users. The report also said America's spying operations have gone far beyond the legal rationale of anti-terrorism and have exposed the ugly face of its pursuit of self-interest in complete disregard for moral integrity. Senior Chinese officials have warned the U.S. and its allies against stirring up troubles across the Asia-Pacific region. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Following reports earlier today that Indiana University freshman Lawrence Plotnick's roommate Brian Tabor has found an excuse to go home every weekend since August, Plotnick spoke to Onion reporters about his roommate's frequent trips to his nearby hometown of Terre Haute, Indiana. Every week since we got here, it seems like every time I ask him if he wants to hang out on Friday, he has some wedding or birthday party or something. In fact, I'm pretty sure he hasn't spent a single Friday or Saturday night on campus in the past six months. Plotnick went on to cite a variety of far-ranging excuses used by his roommate to justify his constant visits home, including various family functions, a visiting friend from China, as well as his occasional desire to, quote, just hang out at home for a couple of days. I mean, I suppose I vaguely understood when he had to go back in November because his best friend's grandfather died, but last weekend he had to go back for his aunt and uncle's wedding anniversary. He said he couldn't miss it. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour of the program. You can take control of the airwaves here toll-free coming up tonight. Venice votes to secede, and I'm not talking about Venice, California, the other Venice. We'll tell you more about that. Johnny Ray's got the story. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We have been talking about rape. If you're just tuning in, the discussion is actually on a very unusual type of rape, and that is when a, a female rapes a male. And according to the statistics, they aren't reported very often. I suspect it happens more often than, in a lot of ways, for instance, domestic violence, I think will probably mirror this to some extent. Uh, there are, apparently, it's more likely that a female will be domestically violent to a male statistically, but many of those incidents do not get reported to the police. So I don't know how statistics they are do, gathered on them. Or if they do, a lot of times, uh, you know, I've heard stories, I don't know. Well, you know, what do you, what do you know, what do you know when somebody tells you a story? But I've heard stories 
Specifically, I heard one today from a woman about her sister and her father getting into an argument and her sister slamming a door right into her father's face, literally, like she's talking about it struck her father's Mm -hmm. face. He used his arm to push her, like push, like slowly move her from, you know, out of the doorway, outside of the house, close the door. And um, she, they, they arrested him. Mm. So, so given that males are not likely to report domestic violence, I would say it's probably also true that males are also not likely to report uh, them being raped by a female simply because they don't want to seem like, uh, you know, that they, that they don't want to be looked at as somebody who's had that happen to them. They don't want anybody to know about that. It's, it's unmanly, uh, I guess. So your thoughts certainly are welcome here at 855-450 Free Mark. You're going to continue with the story here in a moment, but we've actually got Lot on the line in Michigan City, uh, listening to WIMS. Hello, Lot. Namaste, brothers. Namaste. Welcome. Thank you. Um, well, I wanted to talk. I wanted to try to see if I could explain creation that you know, without you know, hitting any any known religion or any other known thought or idea philosophy. And that is that I could say that regardless of whatever you believe, we are here. Something put us here. Some, whether it was randomness, occurrence, whatever, we are here. Well, with that, if we abide by four simple understanding laws and one very good positive law, I think that there's no reason why we can't all coexist and live peacefully, because it will basically take all of the topics, the majority, the main hard-hitting topics in any religion, any spiritualism, and comply it together. And that is the first rule, is, is that you exist. That's it. There's nothing you can do about it. You, the individual here, exists. Rule two. All comes I hope we don't have anybody disputing one. that one. Do you, have you ever had anyone dispute that rule number one? I've had some people say that they're not here, but I've never had anyone say that they don't exist. Okay. Number two. Number two is that all come, all is one and one is all. So what you think is yourself and only yourself is only a mere reflection of how you perceive yourself in amongst everything else. But all comes from one and one is all. I'm with you so far. Rule so we're two. talking about here that, mole- that there's no discernible difference between the molecules that are that are my body and the molecules that aren't my body. Is that kind of the claim? It's kind of just how you perceive it. It's really what it is. It's your perception of that which is. It's a it's your a remarkably perception. validated pers- uh, perspective by other people, right? Like you know, there's a there's a lot of sort of uh, uh, you know argument at argumentum ad populum. You know, the the popular opinion is is that you are you and I am I. So, yeah. Right. That's to keep you separate. If you think separately, then you can divide and you can kind of manipulate a little bit easier. But if we're all united, we're all one, you really can't do that as much as fast. Um, Law three is, is what you put into it is what you will get in return. So that's in any aspect. So if you are, quote, unquote, doing something, what you put into it, what you are willingly to put into it, you will receive in return. There's nothing you can do about it. You'll That's reap, what it is. That's reap, the way it works. You'll reap what you sow. Yeah, politicians Absolutely. are pretty good at uh, breaking that rule. Um, you know, they seem to do pretty well without putting <laughs> a lot into it. Well, you see, now I also believe in karma and how the things in which they do, they don't necessarily understand the repercussions of what they're doing. I would so like very, karma, very much to believe in karma. I want to believe in karma so very badly. But I have a difficult time doing it, and usually it's because of what I see as uh, politicians on a national level, not just in this nation, but all over the world, and what they get away with. Well, see, I believe that in in the essence of karma, what you uh, accumulate in one session, you can't necessarily repay for that in one session because you are unaware of how it really feels and how what it means to be affected. I dig, so, re- I, I dig uh, session, reincarnation, too. But... Is that what you mean when you say session? You mean a, new, a different life? What do you mean by session? Well, yes. I didn't want to specifically jump into reincarnation. I wanted to try to keep it as 
backed off as possible. But yeah, I got you, the but, idea of reincarnation. Well, how about this um, one with reincarnation? So, here's here's the, my rebuttal to reincarnation. I like it too, mind you. I like it. I love the idea that, uh, you know, people that are important to me, Ian and I have been going through history together, <laughs> clashing. Sometimes well, I'm male, sometimes I'm female, to... <laughs> whatever. You mean we've had sex? Oh Cl my goodness. It, 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 yeah, it, wow. it likely true hey. in the um, reincarnation spectrum. <laughs> However, it sounds hey, like a bunch awesome. of hooey, and here's the reason, Lot, is because we have 7.1 okay. billion people on the planet, and if you look yeah. at humankind – and you look at the numbers of people that have been on the planet up to this point, oh, you, there would be a lot of waiting time between your caveman <laughs> self and then your Roman self and then your, uh, you know, your your knightly that self in be, the Middle Ages. That, that see, well, then that would also then that would relate to your perception of what quote unquote time is in past and present. Ultimately, everything is an irrelevance of now. It's just your whatever it is your perception of now alters whether it's past, present, or future. Pa but that's well, a whole different on. topic. Lot, do you <laughs> operate in your life as though history isn't no. history? Well, I learn from that which has happened. I but learn how do you know from that? that which I go through. Right. I know that that happened in a, uh, an event of now, because when it was happening, it was now. When we're experiencing here, it's now, and when we experience tomorrow, it will be now. I'm sorry. As we is, is now when I read the history book about what happened then when I wasn't there? Yeah, you could have been there if you had the idea of past life. See, it, how it works is it's just your perception. What your perception is in that moment. Right now, your perception is that you are in a radio studio and I am on my phone standing out in the driveway, and that's our current perception. But if we have If the a blind person believes other... very strongly that they're walking across a road that has no cars in it, will they be struck by oncoming traffic? It is possible, because the world is full, life is full of infinite possibilities. All right, so let's go on with your list. Okay, and law and rule four, law four of creation is, is that Change is constant. Change will always happen, except for the first three laws. Change is the constant. And ultimately, what you are changing through is every moment of every day, ultimately, everything is changing. Yeah, I can't so, say I, I can disagree to, too much here with, uh, with what you're saying. I mean, so the objective would be to not hold on to that which was, and really focus on that which is. Now, yes, people do events, do make events happen that are necessarily unfair or just downright one-sided, nasty, however you want to label it. They should repay for those things because you should be held accountable for what you do. Because yeah, totally. the only thing that you have total control over is what you do, how you let anything affect you. So Lot, I like what, you, like what you have to say, man. Thanks for the call tonight. And you're welcome to add in here if you'd like at 855-450 free. What about karma anyway? Maybe we should look into that as well coming up here. Yeah, I think that's an interesting discussion. You can take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation, easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to angioprim.com. That's angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com. Com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll-free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at Angioprim.com. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, May 21st, 2014, gold opened at 1288.50. 
A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for thirteen thirty five forty, six sixty seven seventy for a half ounce, or three thirty three eighty five for a quarter ounce. That's thirteen thirty five forty, six sixty seven seventy, and three thirty three eighty five. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. CEO Jeff Potkel went berserk earlier this morning, becoming drenched in his own blood and the blood of several employees as he viciously demanded the staff produce more web video content or he would quote f***ing kill them all. We need more videos! Videos with bands! Random videos! Funny videos! I want a video with a celebrity! I don't give a shit which one! You think this is funny? I'll show you funny! <laughs> He threw our office manager's body against the door and then told us that nobody could leave unless we came up with three original video ideas. Then he made us watch as he bit his own tongue in half. People don't want to read. They want videos. They want to sit at work and watch videos. Videos need to go viral. 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 Is the Onion News Network. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Do you love coffee as much as I love coffee? Here's a delicious way to drink the best of the best coffee and make a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Comano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox Coffee. And you can try a pound for free. All you do is cover shipping. It's organic, shade-grown, top 1% Arabica grade. 10% of future purchases help our efforts to give the gift of human freedom through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Talk Live. Take control. Toll free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you. You can also get on the air with us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, so feel free to connect with us there. You do need to send a contact request first. Real simple. It will be approved. Blockchain does it again. Now, if you've got a physical business, you can go to blockchain.com. Dot com and use their new app on your smartphone to accept Bitcoins safely, securely, and for free. You can also use it on a tablet. So whatever sort of point of purchase device that uh, you use or you can employ in, in your business because you can have one exclusively for accepting Bitcoins. If, for instance, a customer says comes in says, I'd like to purchase this and I'd like to purchase it with Bitcoins instead of using the cash register or whatever, you can use the other point of sale <laughs> uh, device, like the tablet or the smartphone, to accept bitcoins. There's no terms of service or ID requirements of any kind. Now, this is really important. Think about this for a second. Think about the system. Who, who is going to do handle pro- payments processing for you f- with no ID requirements, no terms of service, completely free? You just can't find that anywhere. Zero fees. Yeah, like this is... The only thing there is out there like that is cash, and frankly, the government's trying to do away from away with that as best they can. Just go to blockchain.com, download the app from Google Play Store, and get started. Zero fees. 
blockchain.com. All right. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We can get back into the rape topic here in a moment, but I thought that uh, Lot's call was interesting. I, I did agree with a lot of kind of his perspective on things. I like the idea that, you know, everyone is connected, uh, as he said the one is all and all is one and that's kind of a, this universal pantheistic uh, view that that I happen to like I like but, the ideas but that doesn't make it really sort of true you I know I think there's evidence for it's it It's true well yeah there's evidence on sort of a molecular yeah, level that's what I'm but, talking about. but if Quantum you would, level, if actually. you'd like to go ahead and raise my my left arm right now you can do that think hard concentrate um, Well no I mean there are certain it, Are you saying you don't want to it's not to suggest that you uh, can't. I have control because over you, you aren't Mark. me and I'm not you. Well, that's correct. There are. Uh, well, what, are... Is it correct or isn't it? Well, your left arm just went up. Your left arm just went up. It's <laughs> both. <laughs> it's both are true. We are uh, individuations of that which is greater than us, which is the whole universe. Um, but we're all interconnected to it. So while we are separate, we're also together. I'm with you on that. Certainly, it's we a are divine dichotomy. All part of. The greater thing that's out there. I'll give you that. Yeah. We're made of stardust. That's true. But to some extent, I feel like this we are all this, all one thing is used to rationalize socialism, communism. You know, we are all one and the politicians are the brain is the next sort of step in some people's minds, if you get what I'm saying. I suppose some people might think that some way. Some people yeah, are like, sure. we're all one. Some Why don't think- you want to do what I want you to do? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, some senator or congressman or something said that, I, I think it was Bernie Sanders said, government is what we do together, <laughs> which is, is, a, is an upsetting idea. Right. I mean, I, I don't want anything to do with, with the state as it currently exists, considering its level of violence. But let's get into but the But you discussion. are one with the people who, ver- who who perpetrate that violence in the state, are you not? Unfortunately, I am uh, connected to those people. I don't uh, make those decisions personally. Those I'm people get the validation of the majority of the voters out there. They are the, dr- the just, the pure, the good, the wholesome, and you are just a stinking piece of gum on the bottom of their shoe. Mm-hmm. You yep. are one person person with one opinion they are one person with the opinion of the masses mm, okay that's what i'm saying here is is that that's a dangerous opinion and you need to qualify it when it's What's a stated dangerous opinion that we are all one well it's not i don't think it's an opinion as much as it is a scientific you know fact i've demonstrated how it's not exactly a fact well it's, that, as i said it's both you know you if are you all want, one but you're if also you are me and i am you i can't get you to do anything without using force or violence as you've suggested but you're against force or violence yeah. but the people there are people who are not against force or violence That's we true. are not one we are a scattered uh, shattered bit of a mirror and mm. yes the mirror might have been a hole at one point but it isn't whole today mm. Well, I get where you're coming from. What you're saying is that uh, everybody has their own individual consciousness, um, and I think that's where you know there's there's truth to both of these statements that we are clearly not the same person necessarily. You and I and Johnny Ray. There are three individuals here in this room, but uh, science suggests that we are all actually, in point of fact, connected. So you know that doesn't mean that I agree with what other people are doing simply because I'm inherently connected to them by virtue of the way the universe seems to work, quantum physics, etc. Uh, so I don't think to say quantum that you're all one. Quantum physics will always get mentioned within the first five minutes of some, usually the first minute of one of these floofy uh, conversations about uh, new age religions. Oh, and I'm sure the quantum physicists out there uh, are saying, you know, yelling at their radio saying that I don't understand the The quantum, quantum physics, physics have turned off their radio upon hearing yeah. you say that. Just okay. so you know. Well, I can't please Click. I can't please everybody. Um, but anyway, uh, so again, I, I don't think that it's the, it's an, a mutually exclusive thing to where that we're all one, so we're all part of some sort of hive mind. I don't think that's that's what I'm suggesting here when I say that. Maybe that's what other people are suggesting when they say that, but I'm not doing that. So, like, I don't consent to uh, what's happening around the world with these various governments murdering people and uh, violence and rape, as we were talking about earlier. I mean, obviously, there are things here that, I mean, if if it were true uh, consciously that you were all part of one consciousness, then rape wouldn't exist, right? Because then you'd just be doing it to yourself. Seems obvious. Yeah. So, um, so and yes. all I've tried to point out with uh, with Lot's call is what seemed obvious that things like karma, as much as I like the idea doesn't don't seem obvious to me karma 
is suggests that you pay for your actions at some point, and he's correct that it doesn't have to be in this lifetime, according to the sort of the definition. But many people employ it that way, like mm -hmm. you know, you're going to get reap what you sow, and you're going to get in this lifetime what you have gotten in this lifetime. And I think that demonstrably, uh, national level politicians, it, and it doesn't matter this nation, but you know, generally in nations, tend to not reap what they sow. And that bothers me. I would like it to be so, but well, I don't see it being so. Okay. And further, when we look at things like um, uh, reincarnation, that the, the vast number of human beings on this planet, if you kind of go back a hundred years, I don't know how many centuries it would take to line up 7.1 billion people, but it would take many centuries because humans were far more sparsely populated prior to the 1900s than they are today. Yo, I'm not here to do, to uh, to dissect the idea of reincarnation. That's a whole it other is, conversation. Um, it, it, it is integral to karma. It's an integral well, portion of you, the karma conversation. Right, if you, if you support the idea that the karma thing goes on in, in future lives or something like that, which really isn't fair to the future life, right? Well, like if you, if you are crappy in your past life and then the future life gets all this, you know, this crappy deck of cards dealt to them because of that, that's not very fair because that person doesn't remember what uh, they had done, uh, done previously. But with regard to your statement about the politicians, like from our outside perspective, it certainly looks like these guys are doing pretty well. You know, they get through their political campaign, they finish out their term, they get their retirement, and they usually die. And that, you know, they don't die in some sort of horrible manner. We all manner. die. They don't pass in a horrible manner. They're not uh, just completely raked over the coals later on. So is it possible, though, that there are, they are experiencing some negative karma, but we don't know about it? We'll come back with more here. Like maybe, you know, their family hates them or something like that. More on the way. This is Free Talk Live. And share your thoughts on karma. You've been lied to. Lied to by Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, and I want to give you free access to my new DVD set, The Millionaire Black Box. Because after losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough. And since then, I've filmed interviews with dozens of millionaires across the country. I was shocked to discover they don't use mutual funds or worry about stock market crashes. They make double digits in good years and bad. Call now to get this DVD where millionaires reveal five specific wealth strategies like private lending contracts, how to use your IRAs or cash in the bank to make potential double digits each year, tax-free retirement income using the biggest benefits left in the tax code, and how to beat inflation with two strategies you'll never hear from Wall Street. Call 1-800-324-3030 to get free access to the Millionaire Black Box videos and learn the secrets the ultra-rich use to grow your money and protect your wealth. Plus, the next 47 callers get a free copy of my best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire. Just cover shipping and handling. Call 800-324-3030. Again, that's 1-800-324-3030. 1-800-324-3030. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP. 
at amp.freetalklive.com. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't tread on meme, M E M E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value. And they look neat, too. Oh, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy-to-use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at don'ttreadonmeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't tread on meme, your path to a voluntary society with honest money. Don't tread on meme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live, and we're talking about karma. We'll come back to the rape discussion here in a moment as well. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Do you believe in karma? And what do you have to say to Mark's objection about the politicians? Why don't they seem to get theirs? Let's uh, continue that in a moment. We are going to Chicago to the North American Bitcoin Conference. It's July 19th and 20th down at the Chicago Cormac Place South building. I suppose the Chicagoans, uh, Chicago landers uh, in in the audience know exactly where this uh, this place is. I am, however, going to the put, put it into some kind of map search thing and hope that I get there. But uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's the uh, the Bitcoin conference is going to have lots of different speakers available. Many with a Liberty flair. Philip Filipowski of the Peace Action Network. Of course, Ian and I, Trey Meyer of the Armory Wallet. Um, Jeff Berwick, the Dollar Vigilante, will be there. Roger Veer. Good friend of ours, and better known as in some cases as Bitcoin Jesus, Charlie Lee, the creator of uh, Litecoin, Kathy Reisen, Reis, Reisenwitz, Reisenwitz, you like that? Okay. Anyway, uh, Tony Gallippi uh, of BitPay, ever present at these events. You can go get your tickets at bit, btcchicago.com. You can pay in Bitcoin, and this is the first event that I know of that's going to be in the, the Midwest entirely. Hmm. Um, so the, those in the Chicagoland area should, um, and, and even as far as St. Louis and, and places like that, I think that this is, you know, it's it's worth the drive. It's worth a few hour drive to go to this. And it's a great event. Get your tickets, btcchicago.com. Of course, O'Hare Airport and or it's actually Midway is a little closer. Of planes from all over the country coming in there. btcchicago.com. Get your uh, tickets now. Looking forward to that. btcchicago.com. That's correct. All right, so uh, our toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. Why is it that if, if karma exists, and I like the idea, I subscribe to the idea of karma, I think you get back what you put out there. If you put out there a bunch of negativity and you hurt people, you're probably going to have a pretty bad life. There are going to be bad things that will come back to you on that. Maybe not immediately, maybe not the next day, but eventually that will happen to you. But politicians are hurting people regularly. They are ordering the police to... Uh, you know, to commit violence against peaceful people. They're the ones who are responsible for things like war around the world, but yet they get to retire with sweet federal pensions and their health care is taken care of. Uh, sometimes they get a security detail. So, you know, why is it that the politicians don't seem to reap what they're sowing? Johnny Ray, uh, what do you think about the idea of karma in general? I don't oh. think I, I don't, I'm not really sure where where you're going to come down on this one. Oh, uh, what do I think of karma in general? Yeah. I would have to think about it more. On the face of it, I would say it's bull, and 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 life is just a the, this the the life that happens here on Earth is just a hard knock life. You get what you get, mm-hmm. and and it's and it's because of the circumstances you're in. What you put into it, sure, but is there a supernatural? Uh, reward or punishment for your behavior, I'll say, no, I don't think so. 
So I'm going to – another thing that I've thought of on this karma issue I think is uh, – that's worth mentioning is, is like I like karma, the idea as – karma as it exists – in in the United States, as we talk about it, not talking about the sort of the Indian karma and what it really means, um, but the way it's used here, and the, the mm-hmm. sort of the get what you, uh, get, you get what you give, the reap what you sow kind of thing yeah. that we uh, we talk about here in the United States. I like it, and I think as an operating principle, it works every time, except for politicians, which then to me indicates that in fact the ideas of liberty are flawed and wrong. If it works. Every other time in your life, this idea that you reap what you sow, then politicians who do well must be good people who are getting what they sow. Do you see what I'm saying? I do, but I don't think – I would suspect that politicians relative to the general population are unhappy people. I suspect you're right. They're they're, they're very often – rich and they can exploit the the people for their own personal emolument and furthermore i think money really can in some ways make people happy but it's when you come by it honestly and you can be proud of it a politician who wins a popularity contest goes to washington dc and learns how ugly a place it is and continues in that life where he lives off the back of the people, I think he knows what he's doing, and I don't think that that lifestyle makes him happy. Yeah, I don't imagine it to be particularly fulfilling, and I also have to wonder on karma, uh, does the karma have to be paid here, or could it be paid after death? And so what I mean by that is that, for instance, um, obviously with a politician, maybe they're just living an unhappy life. Maybe their family hates them. Their son or their daughter can't stand them. Maybe their personal life is absolute hell. And you and I would not have any knowledge of that because all we see is them, you know, getting out of a limousine or some black cab or something like that and getting on airplanes. And, you know, we don't see them from the inside. We don't know what's really going on. So maybe they are experiencing negative karma in different ways that, you know, aren't so obvious. Like they don't get thrown in a jail cell. That would be obvious, right? Like maybe there's well, some less obvious ways. There'd be some help if politicians. Um, you know, now and then, one out of a hundred, one out of uh, two out of a hundred would say something like, "I can't live with this anymore. Our existence is that of parasitical uh, animals, um, you know, leeching off of the uh, taxpayers. We are nothing but violent thugs here in this place, and I must go out and earn a real living. I just can't do it anymore." Well, didn't but Arnold Schwarzenegger say point, that? Arnold Schwarzenegger said he said power was addictive. Yeah. That's all I got from that, mm-hmm. and that he wanted to to run again. Um, I think it was oh, really? an admonition that uh, he liked being a politician. I thought he was calling it quits and uh, going back to the movie world because he was tired of it. And he had reached the highest position in politics that he could reach. He was yeah. the governor of one of the top, uh, the, probably the most populous, if not the second most populous state in the union, and he couldn't be the chief executive um, anywhere beyond that. I don't know whether he could be a senator or something like that, but. Um, you know, he was done. So the other thing I was going to suggest was there's a neat video that Garrett Ian produced. He's uh, the proprietor of freeconquer.org, one of the bloggers at freekeen.com. It was really memorable to me because it came out of left field. I wasn't really expecting it. Uh, it was recorded at the state house after a cannabis, uh, medical cannabis hearing. Actually, it was just a few years ago now. And there was a testimony that happened at the state house in front of the panel or whatever. The testimony was from a guy who was in the military formerly. He was a test pilot. And they put him in some sort of a machine that was like a G-force test kind of machine where you know, it spun him around a whole lot and put a whole lot of pressure on, on his back, basically. It turned his spine to jelly, uh, if I'm not mistaken. It did not do good things for him. And so he had some sort of a situation with a near-death experience uh, where he described it. It was an amazing description. He described it as experiencing everything he'd ever done in life to other people from their perspective, meaning that if he'd hurt someone, he would experience their pain in that situation. If someone was angered by him, he would experience their anger, their frustration. If he'd helped someone, then he would experience their gratitude or their their uh, you know, 
their appreciation. And I just thought that was kind of an interesting, like... I love it, Ian. Yeah. Look, I'm not... Cl- <laughs> I'm not claiming I don't love your squishy, little, happy, religious stuff you're talking about. I like it. I said I like the idea of karma. I like the idea of reincarnation. I was I, just suggesting that maybe the karma thing might come later on. If it's not always so obvious in, in our life, maybe there's something else. Maybe oh, it's not the next life. I maybe feel it's terrible just- that these politicians might experience life from somebody else's point of view after they're dead. You know what? If there's a good and just good, for you, huh? good and just and faithful God out there, he should, he or she, they, they, it should, it would seem, make this karma thing more obvious, right? Like that would be, that would be really great, hmm. wouldn't it? I would really like that idea too. That God would make it so obvious that evil people reap evil for their evil actions. But I don't see that much. Share your thoughts with us here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Again, maybe it's not something that you would necessarily be privy to, whatever that negative karma might be. 855-450-FREE. Take control here on Free Talk Live. And coming up, we'll get back to the rape issue. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. It's already too late. Criminals have kicked in your door and are now in your home. Before this happens, homeowners have a choice. One, do nothing and hope you aren't one of the 1.4 million families attacked each year. Or two, refuse to be a victim and for as low as $59, reinforce your doors with door devils. Door devils simply attach to existing door frames and have proven to stop the biggest bad guys from kicking in doors. Read our police testimonials of real-life events at doordevil.com. Alarms don't stop kick-ins. We do. Doordevil.com. Gentlemen, In search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. 
He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want by dialing toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got all kinds of features on our website. If you like Free Talk Live and you like what we're doing here on the show, drop by freetalklive.com and get involved, get interactive, and help share the show. You can go to promote.freetalklive.com to learn different ways to do that. If you care about your online privacy, you need to know about ProXPN. What is it? It is a global virtual private network. They encrypt your data. Whatever leaves your computer before it leaves is encrypted by ProXPN software. And that means that when it reaches your internet service provider, which is its first stop on the information superhighway, that the ISP will not be able to know what you're doing online anymore. Right now, they are well aware of what you're doing. Your ISP is likely keeping records of every website you visit, every search term that you enter, and maybe keeping those records for up to five years. You can stop that right now by going and getting Pro XPN software for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, or Android devices. There's instructions to set up Linux. It's a little bit different. Just email their support department. They'll send those over to you. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Go and get started there. You can start for free and experience what Pro XPN is like, how simple it is to use but you're going to want to upgrade to the premium account because with premium, you get unlimited bandwidth with ProXPN. You also get to select the server that you want to connect to around the world. And some servers are better for certain purposes, specifically private torrenting. If you're going to do private torrenting, which is allowed with ProXPN, I'd recommend you connect to their Netherlands server. Then you won't be subject to any manner whatsoever of U.S. Uh, speculation, or not, not speculation, U.S. watching uh, the NSA, they you know they won't be able to send you uh, DMCA notices if you're using the Netherlands server. So very very useful uh, service that they've set up over at ProXPN. Go to proxpn.com/ftl and use our code FTL20 to get 20% off the price of their premium account. You buy the annual plan with that code FTL20 and you get the price down to five bucks a month. It's just an amazing price for a great service to keep you private online from your ISP's snooping eyes. Possibly also, maybe you're at a coffee shop or something like that. You don't want the coffee shop manager to be able to know what you're doing online or anybody that's sniffing out your Wi-Fi packets. ProXPN protects you from all of that with their encrypted connection. ProXPN.com slash FTL. The code is FTL20. As we go to the phones here and talk to Scott in Virginia, listening to LRN.FM. Hello, Scott. Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Hey, I just wanted to clarify the, the definition of karma, as I understood it. I was just reading about it recently. And uh, to, to me, it, it seems that karma is completely misunderstood in, in the West. Here is a uh, fate or predestination. But really, it's it's just the, the universal law of cause and effect. And the, the word karma literally means action. So... So what does that mean, though, well, to you? I mean, the, the suggestion being that, uh, you know, Mark, as, Mar as Mark was saying earlier, that these politicians are causing all of this strife and this death and violence in the world, but yet many of them retire with happy Joseph retirement Joseph Stalin packages. comes to mind. Right. I mean, I, I don't know. I just, uh, I, I think it makes sense. I mean, it, it goes so far as to say that, um, you know, maybe you won't, in this lifetime, you won't, receive that effect but maybe in the next lifetime it's it's like a key component of uh of rebirth in the uh, buddhist tradition i guess are the buddhists uh believers in uh in reincarnation i know that's uh, kind of a hindu viewpoint I th i'm pretty sure not really clear i, I believe i believe i believe so um i'm not an expert on the matter i'm not myself i'm not 
Buddhist. Neither am I. I have been reading Buddhist. a book actually uh, about Buddhism, and I've I've read stuff on it previously as well. But uh, the 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 longest book I've read about Buddhism is the one I'm reading right now, and I can't say that it addresses those issues. Although it does seem to Buddhism reincarnation seems to have a reincarnation. They do believe in yeah. that. Okay, that's interesting. Rebirth. Very good, Scott. Thanks for well, sharing your thoughts. Anything else you want to get out there? No, that's pretty much it. Thanks, man. Appreciate hearing from you. Toll free number is 855-450-FREE. So to some extent, I've had a um, spiritual change in my life. I, I used to be much more into the sort of uh, uh, you know spiritual stuff that you're talking about, uh -huh. the new agey stuff. And I like a lot of that stuff. I, I like it. And, and I think it's in many ways a, a way to operate. But having had animals at my property, I can see that, you know, the nicest pigs don't do as well as the meaner pigs. The meaner pigs manage to get what they want pretty well and, um, you know, dominate the nicer pigs. Hmm, what does that tell me? Well, what it tells me, um, you know, what the conclusion I've come to is, is that we humans, especially specifically here in the West where I've lived most of my life, like the idea of karma. So therefore, we are going to reward people that we tend to, that we believe tend to act uh, good, well, and we are going to punish people that we believe are going that act poorly. Right? Makes sense. Okay. I don't know how many people in the West are believers in karma, but I think it's ubiquitous. The really? whole you know we, golden rule, yeah. reap what you sow, um, karma. You know these terminologies are okay. So nearly different presentations of it. This, okay. Right. Right. So a Christian may not necessarily say they believe in karma, but ultimately they may have similar I'll principles. Bet you a lot of them would. Yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> so um, th they would say that in fact this is God's law or whatever that's uh, you know in the world. And I think in many ways it's true. But at the same time, when when politicians appear to be exempt from it, what in fact may be the case is that we humans, in the implementation of this so uh, this this social norm of of karma or the golden rule or whatever term we wish, we exempt the politicians from this uh, this rule, and so therefore it doesn't get employed upon them that the rule itself is a You're saying so it's not universal because it's not, I don't I don't think it's necessarily universal because the universe won't enforce it the universe does not enforce it people enforce it and people exempt politicians from these rules so hmm. this isn't god's law this is man's law and man is remarkably inconsistent all right, so let's go to Gen. Your thoughts are certainly welcome on this or any subject at 855 450 free. Gen is on the line in Boston. Go ahead there. Hi. Uh, how are you guys doing? I, um, great. Um, I'd like to, to, to test the idea that free state has to be involved in uh, law enforcement. You'd like to address uh, my, the issue of whether free staters should be law enforcers? Yeah. Okay. My, my thinking is that um, it, it's not about the force. It's about the, the law, the letter of the law that gave the police state the power because uh, it's because the force, everyone have equal force, the people and the police have equal force. So, I would say the I would say the people have more force than the police. I mean, combined, there are far yeah, more people than yeah. there are police. Yes. Then why are we uh, why are we afraid of the the, the the anti-liberty uh, forces. I I think they have a legitimacy, the law behind them. Mm -hmm. uh, but so what what we need to do is to be involved in the police force. No, not not to kill anyone, to beat anyone up, but to be two peace officers. And I think I think from listening to you guys, you guys know how to how to con take control of the situation and um, fix it. To, the, the peaceful way and, and, and don't have to resort to such, so much force. And because people people use use force because they fear too much. They they go in the profession thinking that they, they want to dominate the the people. But as liberty people we want to you know to give liberty to everyone to have equal rights. Yeah. Them. I think that and a liberty then, person know. can be a police officer. I believe in that. I think that is possible. I think right. that it's. Uh, I think it's something that you'd really have to. You'd have to hold your nose to some extent uh, in that process because there's uh, there's always that initial phase where you can be fired for any reason that sort of 
uh, I don't know if it's like the trainee phase or whatever you want to call it, but the kind of probationary phase where when you get the job as a police officer, there's like a year or however long it is before you'll, you're kind of locked in as a tenured bureaucrat. They have the ability to fire you for any reason whatsoever in that first year. And insubordination, I imagine, would be one of those reasons if they tell you, uh, you know, again, uh, Officer Gen, you're going to go and uh, raid this college party and arrest a bunch of uh, young people for underage drinking. And, you, you know, if you were to say, no, I will not participate in that, then they could probably fire you for that in that, that first year time frame. So I think to some extent you'd have to be willing to violate people's rights in order so that maybe down the line later you would be able to help try to protect those same people later on. But I think you have some uh, leeway into uh, carry out the the order. You know, you, you, nobody wants nobody want a, a a person who 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 who, who just follow orders blindly. I would. Well, they do want that in police nope. departments. I mean, that's definitely what they want. Uh, a lot of them. I don't know, Gan. And thank you for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. I don't think it would work real well for an officer in that probationary period to disobey an order at that point. Maybe they wouldn't get fired right out the gate, but it wouldn't make it easy for them to keep that job, I think, at that point. You're welcome to share your thoughts. It's Free Talk Live. Hour 3 coming up. What if humans found a habitable planet, set up housekeeping, and then got left alone by Earth and its big government? Will that happen in Freehold, Michael Z. Williamson's seminal work? Now available for the first time in a signed, limited hardback edition. Other books in this series are also available in paperback. I cannot recommend a modern fiction work more highly than Freehold. Earth might have left Freehold alone, but it doesn't stay that way. It's war. Get your copy right now at all major booksellers and shop.freetalklive.com. This Tuesday, it's the premiere of NBC's new medical drama, The Night Shift. He seems an army ranger, battlefield doc. He's a hero, driven to save everyone but himself. I keep having these dreams. I keep reliving that moment. Let me help you. But how can she heal the man who broke her heart? I can't stop thinking about you. The Night Shift premieres Tuesday at 10, 9 central, after the premiere of America's Got Talent on NBC. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. You're listening to the Liberty Beat, your daily source for liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. This is Justin Armand with your Liberty Beat for May 27, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,277, silver at $19.10, and Bitcoin is trading at $513. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Accountable Authority, now offering a public database of police abuse and misconduct. Take action now and join for free to gain community support and protection online at accountableauthority.com. And from Roberts and Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, but you can bet they take Bitcoin. Online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800-874-9760. And now the news. On Monday, Nigeria's chief of defense stated that the military has located the nearly 300 missing girls believed to have been kidnapped by the militant group Boko Haram. Air Marshal Alex Bidet said they know where the girls are, but could not tell the parents the location. Bidet stated that the military action has been ruled out, 
and did not announce how the girls will be rescued. As Brazil is preparing for the launch of the World Cup tournament, the nation finds itself gripped in strikes and protests. On Wednesday, the 22nd of May, police officers in several states of Brazil staged a 24-hour strike just two weeks before the tournament. The officers are calling on a higher wage and better working conditions. On Monday, hundreds of protesters surrounded a bus carrying Brazil's players. USA Today reports that the majority of the protesters were teachers and education officials demanding the money be spent on improving schools rather than preparing for the World Cup. The Muckleshoot Indian tribe of Washington State has called on the Food and Drug Administration to deny approval of genetically engineered salmon until a full environmental impact statement is completed. The Muckleshoot tribe joins the affiliated tribes of Northwest Indians in opposition to Canadian company Aqua Bounty's GE salmon. Aqua Bounty takes Atlantic salmon and injects it with DNA so that it can grow twice as fast. The tribe says the salmon could threaten the wild salmon and become an invasive species. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks. Check out their new website at centraltexasgunworks.com where you can conveniently purchase firearms from a variety of distributors and pick them up in store. And support comes from Cabo Bob's, now with two locations in Austin at 500 East Ben White Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande Boulevard. You're listening to The Liberty Beat for May 27, 2014. Be sure to check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Glenn Greenwald, the journalist responsible for disclosing documents obtained by whistleblower Edward Snowden, said he intends to publish a list of specific American names targeted by U.S. government surveillance via the National Security Agency. The names will be published through The Intercept, a website funded by PayPal owner Pierre Omidyar. The journalist, who formerly worked for The Guardian, promised to release further revelations about GCHQ, the NSA's British sister agency. Greenwald said the U.S. government is still unable to determine how many and which documents Snowden downloaded. Russia Today reported that Snowden is considering returning to the USA under certain conditions pending negotiations possibly being made by his German lawyer, Wolfgang Kalek. Texas, Indiana, Utah, and Arizona are refusing to comply with a federal law designed to reduce sexual assaults in prison. Governors of the four states informed U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder that they will not try to meet federal prison rape standards because they believe the Prison Rape Elimination Act replaces good intentions with red tape. Brenda Smith, a former commissioner on the National Prison Rape Elimination Commission, called the state's decision shameful. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication for all your print and audio duplication needs. Mention promo code LIBERTY and get 5% off all DVD and CD duplication jobs online at affordablesound.com or give them a call at 512-459-5253. This is Justin Armand reporting with the Liberty Bee. Remember, freeing your mind is freeing our world. Shoppers at a Hannaford supermarket could only speculate that the middle-aged woman angrily demanding a price check on a pack of rice pudding was once a carefree youth. I don't care what it says on your screen. You know, this is why people go to the store across the street, because of the way they're treated here. You know, nobody likes it here. Those watching the woman angrily asking for a manager over a $1.20 price difference imagined that the woman was once a fresh-faced college graduate, too spirited and fun-loving to throw a bitter tantrum in front of a room of complete strangers. She was probably just some freewheeling college kid. You know, her biggest concern was which one of her friends she was going to hang out with at night and whether they were going to meet at the movies or a bonfire on the beach. Now look at her. You know, I'll bet if you'd have told her 10 or 15 years ago that one day she'd be ripping into a grocery store clerk with a room full of strangers staring at her, she'd have been horrified. It's sad. In other news, a few years in the military would have really straightened out a troubled teen killed in Afghanistan, and a man on the verge of self-realization instead turns to God. This is the Onion News Network. This is 
Free Talk Live, and we had been in the past on this uh, edition of the show talking about rape, females raping males, and uh, we're not through that discussion yet. We should we should return to that. Also, we ended up going off on a tangent about karma and sort of the universe and connectedness, etc. You're welcome to share your thoughts on whatever's on your mind here at 855-450. Free with you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. Johnny Ray. And Mark. Uh, one thing's for sure about karma is that people don't agree on what it actually means. That's about the only thing that's for sure about karma. According to the Wikipedia article, uh, karma is an executed is the executed deed, work, action, or act, and it is also the object, the intent. Uh, karma is explained by contrasting it with another Sanskrit word, kriya, kr- kriya, I think. The word kriya is the activity along with the steps and effort in action while karma is the execu- executed action as a consequence of that activity, as well as the intention of the actor behind an executed action or a planned action. Uh, good action creates good karma, as does good intent. A bad action creates bad karma, as does bad intent. Karma also refers to a conceptual principle that originated in India, often descriptively called the principle of karma, sometimes as the karma theory or the law of karma. In the context of theory, karma is complex and difficult to define. Different schools of Indologists derive different definitions for the karma concept from ancient Indian texts. Their definition is some combination of, one, causality that may be ethical or non-ethical, two, ethicization that is good or bad actions have consequences, and three, rebirth. Other Indologists include the meaning of karma as that which explains the present circumstances of an individual with reference to his or her actions in the past. These actions may be those in a person's current life or in some schools of Indian traditions, possibly actions of their past lives. Furthermore, the consequences may result in current life or in a person's future lives. The difficulty in arriving at a definition for karma arises because of the diversity of views among the various schools of Hinduism that coexist and thrive. Some schools, for example, consider karma and rebirth linked and simultaneously essential. Others consider karma essential but not rebirth. And a few schools of Hinduism discuss and conclude karma and rebirth as flawed fiction. Buddhism and Jainism have their karma precepts. Karma thus has not one, rather multiple definitions and different meanings. Yeah, I mean, this is just inside of Hinduism. Yeah. Let's not forget that we don't live where Hinduism is generally practiced. So when the term is used in my life, it is generally used by people who are not Hindus, Mm -hmm. talking to people who are not Hindus about stuff that has nothing to do with Hinduism. So there's this other sort of extra definitional definition of of karma too, which is to say something like the golden rule or, uh, you know, reap what you sow. It's a concept whose meaning, importance, and scope varies between Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and other traditions that originated in India and various schools in each of these traditions. Uh, O'Flaherty claims that, furthermore, there's an ongoing debate ra- uh, regarding whether karma is a theory, a model, a paradigm, a metaphor, or a metaphysical stance. <laughs> so you decide. We go to the phones here. James is on the line in Arizona. James, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello? Yes. You're on the yes. air. Ian? James, you're on the Ian? air. Go ahead. Yeah, to learn who rules over you. Simply find out who you are not allowed to criticize. The military? So Mark, why you... so Mark it's on your Facebook page. You okay. Know that, right? Is that on my Facebook so Mark, page? Why don't you be my buddy? Hey, Mark, why don't you be my buddy and tell that pothead provocateur overlord of yours to take his finger off the nuke button? He's not on the nuke Let button right now. And uh-huh. he doesn't rule over you so much as he rules over the show. But I can see that. Are you you suggesting that I rule over Mark? Because that's not true. But anyway, I I want to. Was thinking a second time, Mark, about your fascinating two questions that are short and easy to repeat to your audience that you you interjected on me on Sunday. Uh, Okay. Uh, Can you can you can you reset us and and tell the audience what we're talking about here? Well, what did the United States do that was anything different than the empires of France, Great Britain, Germany? What, so what did Japan do? Imagine. What did Japan and do Japan. that was any different than the United, the, the yeah. empires and of the I United States? Thinking, Mark, and I was thinking, what did the United States do differently? 
the four countries you just named, you named, are all rich, prosperous, and are free to elect whoever they want, good or bad, for the last 70 years, while they've had occupiers in their country. And then I was like, geez, the other question you asked me about, don't you agree that the U.S. getting involved with the war in the Far East that is empowered, as you say, Mao Te Sung? Well, no, I don't agree with you, Mark. And the funny thing is, what I was thinking about there, too, is that it didn't have anything more to do, us getting involved in that war had nothing more to do with the, that than a, the dozen so flyboys that toasted to Saki on a at sunrise and then flew over Pearl Harbor and dropped a bunch of bombs on my dad's buddies and, and murdered them any more than the McCullough memo, memo did. It's just nonsense that you like to interject because you believe stuff that's not true. But take well, what stuff do you think I don't believe? So I believe the McCullough memo exists. McCullough memo had nothing to do with us being in having bombs dropped off dropped on Pearl Harbor. Well, nothing. They were already up to doing that. Do you that think that the US place. embargo on do you think the US embargo on oil companies from the US not being able to ship oil to Japan had anything to do with the uh, bombing of Pearl Harbor? So that I'll answer that with a question. You don't believe <laughs> as the people that wanted to embargo Japan already knew that Japanese was was an evil empire murdering millions of Chinese. They, that's why we blockaded them. That's what happened. Uh, yep. That's why we stopped trading Absolutely. with Germany yep. after they started bombing people. But I wanted to answer about the empowering Mao Tse Tung. Do you think it's interesting, though, that uh, you know there, nothing good was going on in Russia, but the United States decided to pair up with them in World War II? So consider that... Um, we used Russia. What's that? We, we used Russia and we used Stalin, and after everything was said and done and the evil empire of Germany was defeated... Like I've already said, we should have executed uh, that mass murderer, a buddy of his that started World War II with him in Poland. Because Poland got invaded from two different directions. And by the way, that's another stupid thing you once said on your podcast about uh, me being ethnocentric because the war was basically a war between Stalin and Hitler. Well, who woke up on June 22nd, 1941 and couldn't believe Hitler had invaded uh, Russia, or Ukraine, Ukraine that is. Uh, who couldn't believe it and was outraged and couldn't believe that we effed it all up was what Stalin said to his comrades, the, the communist revolution, that is. Uh, but again, back to not all the nonsense you believe is because you listen to progressive... The major military so actions in the European theater of World War II mm -hmm. it happened on the Eastern Front. The Ost Front, I know that. and I know that that's what I was trying to get across, and I don't know why front. you think that's stupid. Because not even Stalin could believe that Hitler was invading uh, his All empire. All he had to do was read Mein way, Kampf. They invaded Poland together, and they had a detente for two years while Germany was ghettoizing people, then putting them on transports while they were building uh, Auschwitz and all the other concentration All camps. he had so to do was Mount read Mein Kampf. By back, I know that. They should have. People should have taken him seriously, but they didn't. Woodrow That's Wilson should have taken that. should have taken his oath to stay out oh, of foreign wars one. seriously and not what invaded, um, uh, you know, not participated in the Western Front hey, in World War One. I'm sorry to interrupt y'all's uh, debate here. Hey, James. The Japanese starting World War II. James. I, oh, Johnny Ray. James, Ray, I got a question you know for you, Japanese? James. You had told uh, the, the call screener you wanted to talk about karma, but you haven't really talked about karma. Did you lie to our call screener? No. What about karma? What did Japan, the innocent kids in Nagasaki and Hiroshima deserve that, that bad karma? Not to mention, like I said to one of my Jewish friends, who of course is secular, who told me he believed in karma. I said, really? What did your, uh, your ancestors do to deserve being shoved in the gas chambers, the little kids and women and children? What did they do? Nothing. Karma is a bunch of new age BS that you guys just indulge Lot in for Thanks for the hour. call, James. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, well, lots a lot more uh, friendly than you are, Wit. And no, it wasn't a half hour. It was one segment. Hey, hey, don't call him Wit. Oh, that's right. Only his James. friends get to call him Wit. Yeah, I'm definitely not a friend of, uh, of James. 855-450-FREE. You can take control here. And this is Free Talk Live. Summer is almost here, which means it's time to get out and play. And at the Guitar Center Memorial Day Sale, you'll find some of our lowest prices of the year on the best gear throughout the store. 
And with deals like your choice of two guitar stands or wall hooks for 10 bucks, or two pairs of Vader drumsticks for five bucks, or three sets of Ernie Ball electric guitar strings for 10 bucks, the only question is, where will you play? Guitar Center's Memorial Day sale, now through Monday, in-store and online. This Tuesday, it's the premiere of NBC's new medical drama, The Night Shift. TCU's an army ranger, battlefield doc. He's a hero, driven to save everyone but himself. I keep having these dreams. I keep reliving that moment. Let me help you. But how can she heal the man who broke her heart? I can't stop thinking about you. The Night Shift premieres Tuesday at 10, 9 central, after the premiere of America's Got Talent on NBC. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to move to the land of Libpair, Libertarian Paradise, where there's fun for everyone that doesn't initiate force on others, fun for the kids, parties for the adults, buy and sell in silver or Bitcoin, scenic hikes and gun shoots, speeches to educate us all? The Porcupine Freedom Festival is Libpair in the White Mountains of New Hampshire for a week this summer, June 22nd to 29th. Get your tickets now before there's no more room. Porkfest, the event of a lifetime. Porkfest.com. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, take control of the airwaves toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. It's good karma when you call in to Free Talk Live. <laughs> Uh, so we've been talking about karma, but also rape earlier on in the show. We can come back around to that topic as well. And Johnny Ray, I think you still have game. Do you have a game of the week this week? A little bit. Yeah, because you started one last week that you hadn't barely done more than scratch the surface of. So I think we have to talk more about that. Uh, but also, your calls are welcome. We're going to go uh, to those calls in a moment. want to let you know about... Buzzbox Coffee. They've got uh, some delicious coffee, and you can get a whole pound for free. 
Yeah, and it's really great coffee. Um, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Sign up for the subscription there. You can cancel the subscription anytime. It's one of those subscription programs, and it's uh, it'll get you a free pound of coffee. You pay for the shipping, and we'll send you the coffee. And it's really, really good coffee. It's the best of the best coffee. It's top 1% grade Arabica beans that are completely organic and shade-grown. One thing, we uh, we got a little, uh, little information from a listener that uh, shade-grown coffee is great for songbirds here in North America. Many of the North American songbirds go down during the winter and hang out in the uh, shade-grown coffee fields. So when you support shade-grown coffee, not sun-grown Robusto coffee, like most coffee is, when you support shade-grown coffee, you're helping the birds out too. And besides that, when you get BuzzBox coffee, you keep you maintain your subscription through BuzzBox, you will be helping people around the world because for every 10 people that order their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, and thank you to everyone who does, thank you so much, uh, we're able to offer a new micro loan to another family somewhere in the world to be able to buy whatever it is that they need, whether they, maybe they need a cow to pull a plow, maybe they need a plow, maybe they need a bicycle or, you know, some kind of item to, to make a storefront work. I don't know what they need, but they do. You can give them that hand up that's going to change their life simply by changing who you get your coffee from. Just change that. And they make it easy for you. The coffee's delivered right to your work or office or home or wherever it is. And you don't have to think about coffee anymore. Order a little extra. If you end up with an extra pound of coffee, no problem. Give this delicious coffee as a gift. And then maybe somebody else will decide that it's a good idea to support uh, uh, BuzzBox Coffee, too. So, Again, coffee.freetalklive.com to get your free pound to get started. Let's go to Chris in Utah. You're on Free Talk Live listening to KZNU. Hey, Chris. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Hey. What's on your mind tonight? Uh, first off, this is the last time I ever used a, a prepaid cell phone to call into a radio program. Holy crap. Um, anyway, I was wondering if you have ever um, brought up the subject of the missing 13th amendment i've only known about your show for about two weeks now yeah that's uh, been brought up in the past uh, d- d- essentially okay. the the claim as i understand it is that prior to the 13th amendment as is exists in the constitution the bill of rights or i guess the bill of rights is only through 10 but the, the amendments of the constitution uh that there was one proposed that would have limited the uh, the ability of attorneys to be elected to public office is that right yeah, actually, uh, I, I was just li- watching. Once I heard about it, I kind of went, "Holy cow!" and started researching it. And I was just listening to some testimony. And actually, I believe it was even in New Hampshire um, at a special committee up at the state house, whatever it's called up there. Um, anyway, uh, apparently, the bill was actually ratified, and it was actually the Fourteenth Amendment was actually written up. After that, which is now the 13th Amendment, um, and it was accepted as law, and there's plenty of uh, proof through that that it was printed up as law all the way up until about 1869, 1870. So what happened to it? Oh, well, the Act of 1871, apparently. What does that mean? What happened to it? Well, it it just kind of disappeared. It Hmm. just got erased without any repeal. It just... Uh, that's that's the uh, big question. That's the million dollar question. Uh, technically, I guess it would still be law. Well, good um, luck getting the attorneys to agree. To, this is really the yeah, problem right, with right, uh, right. with laws um, is is that they're enforced by people who, you know, they they don't spend the time researching that uh, that you and I do. They're just told, hey, go do this, and they do it. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, it's yeah, a good right, idea, right, right? Like to not allow attorneys to be elected to, to government office. I think that's a good idea. I think that's an awesome yeah, idea. I think that would change everything. Which would explain when why look, they would junk it. When you look at uh, the right. U.S. House, the Senate, and the forty and forty nine other states, you will see that in every one of those bodies, the majority of uh, people that had jobs at any point, um, the majority of those people, lawyers. I think if you just say the majority, I don't of think people, that's yeah. true in New Hampshire. No, not in. I said forty nine other states. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I right, that. there's one state that right, doesn't. Right. 
And that's New Hampshire because yeah. we have the citizen legislature of 400 people, and that gets paid $100 a year. Right. The attorney's not prohibited from becoming a uh, They legislator. just won't do it because they can't, you know. It's not the power. Generally, right. Well, it's power and money. Consider that unsuccessful attorneys often run for office. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, my God. It's hard to get out here and chase ambulances or whatever and, you know, help criminals or whatever it is that they do. They're like, I just need to get a job in the legislature. That would be awesome. And they go and do it, and they get paid a reasonably good income, plus there's all the backdoor deals and stuff like that. That doesn't happen in New Hampshire. So, Chris, were you com- were you concerned at the beginning of your call about the amount of time you've spent on hold? Uh, I wasn't really oh, yeah, yeah. I was, just, I was just playing around. Yeah, it took oh. a while. I was going to say you should uh, – first of all, it wasn't as long as uh, some people have held on this show. But uh, y- what you should do is get one of those unlimited plans. I mean, they've got prepaid phones where you can get unlimited minutes. They do exist. I get one uh, – mine's yeah, from Straight Talk. Yeah, I haven't had a cell phone for over five years, and I actually loved it, but I just had to get one for work. And I, I make 300 minutes last four months, you know. So Yeah, I heard you. Anyway. All right. Well, Chris, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. You can yeah. always find a pay phone and dial us up uh, toll-free at 855-450-FREE. <laughs> appreciate hearing from you. Uh, Skype. Or Skype, yeah. Skype into the show. Username there, lrn.fm. In that case, you can talk and hold as long as you'd like. Did Chris explain this uh, 13th Amendment? I was just reading about it while he was talking, and I probably should have been listening to him. I kind of explained it a little bit. The idea was that it was a prohibition on people with the term Esquire, so an attorney, for instance, uh, with a prohibition on that person holding office in the United States, that they would not be able to be a representative or a senator or something like that. Right, Esquire being a title of nobility or honor. Yeah, that's the title given to attorneys generally. As Usually I understand that's it. what it means. It doesn't always mean attorney, but yeah. it always means attorney. Exactly. Did, I mean, was there more that you wanted to share on it, Johnny Ray? The uh, I was just looking at it here in Daily Coast. Uh, if any citizen, this is the the this is the mystery Thirteenth Amendment. If any citizen of the United States shall accept, claim, receive, or retain any title of nobility or honor, or shall without the consent of Congress accept and retain any present pension, office, or emolument of any kind, whatever. From any emperor, king, prince, or foreign power, such person shall cease to be a citizen of the United States and shall be incapable of holding any office of trust or profit under them or either of them. And the, Yeah, I mean, there's some evidence for the, the claims that this thing did exist at some point. The reason the lawyers Amendment. would have been prohibited is because the International Bar Association was chartered by the King of England and headquartered in London. So any American lawyer who uses the term Esquire would be in violation of the Constitution. <laughs> But so was that how it was enforced, this uh, th- this amendment? Was that how, how it was enforced, or is this an extrapolation? I don't know is, how long it, mean, it was on the books. Well, he claimed until 1870 or so. Does that mean there were no lawyers in Congress or the Senate from the time of, what, 1820 to 1860? We should be able to figure that out. Let us know if you find out. 855-450. Free. Take control here on Free Talk Live. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. 
So why would I support the American Empire? The Empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at FFF at FFF.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's FFF at FFF.org. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Do you ever say, I could care less, when you really mean the opposite? You mean to say, I couldn't care less. It's a common mistake. You are judged by how you speak, especially if you're looking for work with so many more applicants than openings now. But even if you're not, avoiding common misstatements will help you make the most of the dozens of conversations and transactions that crowd your daily routine. So whatever you say, don't say whatever as a single word sentence. It's the most annoying expression in the American English language, according to a recent poll. And avoid cliches like the plague. Just kidding. But seriously, at the end of the day, you'll want to avoid this scenario sounding like everyone else. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got a website. There's all kinds of features there, and we give them to you. Go check it out at freetalklive.com. So I've started using a new product, and Ian, have, have you begun using your My Magic Mud yet? No, I intended to last night, but I, I spaced out. Okay. I didn't do it. Well, this stuff... I want to, though. It, it's very interesting stuff. Um, it is a I'm fascinated by this. Yeah, it's really <laughs> neat. It's a holistic remedy for your teeth that removes plaque and detoxifies the mouth of bacteria that cause cavities. Now, what it is is uh, it's it's charcoal, uh, coconut shell charcoal, and um, you know some kind of benzonite clay, and it bonds with you know that's what you know it bonds with things. Uh, you know it's a chemical reaction, so it it grabs a hold of stuff in your mouth and kind of pulls it out, and uh, you know you spit it out and it, and it goes away. Hmm. I brush for two minutes. And another thing it does is it really whitens. Seems counterintuitive. I mean, this is black powder. How yeah. is it that can whiten your teeth? It's black, and I gotta say, it's a very fine powder, so it can be a little messy. You gotta mm -hmm. be right over the sink when you uh, when you brush with it. But it whitens mm -hmm. like you wouldn't believe. Within four, I had some coffee stains from drinking coffee. Anybody who listens to the show on a regular basis knows I drink decaf coffee and about a pot of it a day. Mm -hmm. And I had some stains from uh, drinking coffee. Within, I saw market improvement in one application and. Within four applications, the coffee stains were removed from my teeth anywhere that a toothbrush can get. And wow. it just zoop, gone. The last time I had to kind of work on one spot where there's kind of a crease in my tooth and just to make sure it was all gone, that's why I have to say four instead of three. Hmm. But it really, wow. really, really whitens teeth. Now, it whitens teeth to their natural whiteness, not this kind of freaky day glow white yeah. um, that you can get from chemical whiteners. <laughs> um, but I, for this if it was just this one thing that it did, that would be amazing. But it, um, when they, another experience I had is when they say it sort of detoxifies. Is uh, one time I had I, I had drank some wine before I was going to bed, and I decided to use my magic mud to brush my teeth, mm -hmm. and I could kind of feel the wine taste disappear as I went around. There's no sort of chemically soapy taste like. Uh, 
like toothpaste has. It just it it tastes like nothing essentially, mm. and just the, the 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 sort of the wine feeling would disappear around my teeth as I would brush around my mouth. I thought it was just an amazing experience. It was created by uh, this gal, Jessica Armand, and she's a liberty-loving homeschool mother of three, and she's uh, appending, uh, attending Porkfest this year with cool. us. So they'll be, as I understand it, they're they're liable to have sort of a testing station where you can try this oh, wow. while you're at uh, the Porcupine Freedom Festival. So, um, and they're for, and jars for sale and that kind of thing. She also does the uh, the Liberty Beat uh, news. She's a news lady, which is really cool yeah here with uh, lrn.fm so it's it's great um it the purchase you can purchase a jar of course on on the website at mymagicmud.com it's mymagicmud.com and there you can listen to an interview with a biological dentist dr g griffin cole who explains a lot of the benefits of my magic mud again mymagicmud.com i love this product I use it every, you know, I'm using it every day right now, kind of going through a regimen I've set up for myself for, you know, the first month, and then I'm going to, you know, back off to maybe once every other day. Um, it's it's well worth to try. I'm I'm really impressed by this stuff. There's there's no voodoo. This thing's all about science. Carbon carbon sucks up everything. It does. I mean, this is why they use it in filters because uh-huh. it you know it'll get a hold of the minerals and that kind of thing. <laughs> and I, I'm just amazed by it. I had a little gingivitis issue, and I want to make sure that I'm do, doing whatever I can to remove bacteria from my mouth. Let's go to the phones to Skype where Garrett is on the line in Baltimore. Garrett, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey guys, what's up? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you got we're fine. Go ahead. Excellent. Cool. Uh yeah, I just you know, I wanted to speak a little bit about how I don't want to talk about rape. <laughs> and <laughs> um I I'd, I'd really love to chat with Johnny Ray a little bit about this uh mobile cell phone game that I that I downloaded based on his um, suggestion. Johnny Ray's Game of the Week. All right, Uh-oh. so which right. which of his da- uh, games of the week did you download? All right, it's called Shattered Planet. Yes. This was the RPG, if I'm recalling correctly, where you're yeah. going around killing little beasties. Uh-huh. Johnny, it's pretty intense, dude. I, I haven't gotten very far. Um, I, I think I've killed a couple of clones at this point, but apparently that's okay in this game. If you die, it's cool. You just pick up where you left off, right? Yeah, you you always <laughs> die. The clone always <laughs> dies, and the idea is just to try and uh, try and do 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 the best you can while you're alive. Well, yeah, that's it, a metaphor life for feels. life. It, it's it's great for people like me who suck at video games. <laughs> Because, <laughs> because you, you, it's this is the first game that is acceptable for you to die and just keep continuing on. You don't need to put in fifty more cents to continue. You can just keep on and playing. I don't know if you're aware of this, but that whole putting fifty cents thing in has been gone for a long time. Well, and a lot of games these days are <laughs> yeah. pretty tolerant towards the player dying. I mean, for instance, uh, in the, the Borderlands game series, you can die mm-hmm. as many times as you want in that game. All you really lose is money. And of course, money's plentiful. So yeah, and you know. when you say money, you're talking about some fictional in-game, in-game currency. Uh, yeah, in-game currency. Uh, you know so what, you, you know lose what 10%. Borderlands has going for it? They have a great artistic style yes. to that entire video game. It's 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 a fun game to just look at. I agree. Um, it's a it's got an interesting art. Uh, I don't know artwork style. I don't know what you call it. There's I'm sure there's a name for it, but it looks very distinct. Uh, it's, it, it's like a th- it's like a three dimensional comic book or something. Yeah, it does have that sort of cell shaded feel to it. I don't know if that's the right terminology, right. but it does have that, and it's it looks beautiful. R- real thick fills on the lines and everything, and you know, uh, uh, a bunch of really cool weapons and stuff. But now, uh, I hate to say that I want to stop talking about video games for a minute, just to, to let. Um, I mean, you guys are big pork fan. Porkfest fans. I'm oh sure. yeah, Pork Porcupine Fest. Freedom Festival. It's coming up June twenty second through the twenty ninth. We will be there, and we'll look forward to seeing you. I presume you're going to be there. You're there. It seems like every year, Garrett. Uh, I, since twenty ten. Excellent. Yeah, this will be. Uh, so I guess we're five years running now. That's where I met my girlfriend back really? in. Really? Uh, I, I let me rephrase that. That's where I met my fiance. Oh, that's nice. Congratulations. What are the we, odds? I mean, it, she's well, she's there in the the Baltimore area, and you just happen to meet her at Porkfest. No. Fest? No, she came from Jersey. We met at oh, Porkfest, wow. and uh, I quickly stole her away from that 
terrible, terrible state. <laughs> and you brought and, her to Baltimore. And, and, and I brought her to a worse state. Yes. I'm not sure if that's I, better. <laughs> I'm not sure if Baltimore is an improvement. You gallant night, you. New Jersey. <laughs> I, I had work, and it was easy for her to find work. Down All right, so what's happening so. at Pork Fest for you? I mean, what did you want to talk about? So we're, we're going to do a little, we're calling it Pork Fest Game Space. I don't know if it's hit the calendar yet, but we, we, we want to get together uh, every early afternoon um, and, and just play, play some of our favorite board games together with oh, people. Oh, excellent. You know, like you, you get a lot of these two to four player people or games and then you don't have enough people to play. So I, I, I'd like to suggest mm. everybody get uh, it, there. If you Google, if you search it on Facebook, you will find it. Just just search for uh, Pork Fest Game Space. It, it's up there. It's live. Like people are talking. It's a little dull right now. It was really exciting in the beginning. I think there's already like. 80 plus members. I can see Johnny Ray coming by there with some Dominion. Johnny Ray, you think you'd be there we up go. for that? Yeah, there we definitely. Go. Yeah, because Johnny Ray, while he does tend to focus on video games on the air for his game of the week, he's a big Dominion fanatic. Dominion is a fantastic game, but I must say that the the, uh, the computer versions of it are superior. You like it better, yeah. yeah. Well, Garrett, thanks for the heads up on that. We'll look forward to seeing you in a few weeks, and thanks for the call tonight. That's uh, Garrett from Baltimore coming up to the Porcupine Freedom Festival. It's certainly not the first time that board games have been uh, you know something to do while you're at the Porcupine Freedom Festival, but I don't know if it's been as well organized as it w sounds like it's going to be this year, so very cool. The first significant experience I ever had with you Ian was playing a game of Risk. Wow, at Porkfest. At the the fun tent, the Sacral CAI fun and tent. That was a long time ago. All right. So anyway, go. You know, I still uh, it still burns me that game. I um, got knocked out you in, in that the first too? round, and it just it irks me because I am so good at Risk. <laughs> Wasn't that like my first game oh, playing God. Risk? I don't know. You know, it's those it's those early die rolls that really de determine risk. And um, P O R C F E S T dot com. You can come on up, maybe play a game of Dominion with Johnny Ray, or who knows what other games are going to be on hand for this. Of course, there's all kinds of other things that are going on during the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Porkfest, P O R C F E S T dot com. We'll come back with more here in moments. And Johnny Ray's actual game of the week. We'll get to that too. It's Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial. 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Henry Ford once said, a man who stops advertising to save money is like a man who stops a clock to save time. Alex Castle here, the national account executive at GCN. I have the ability to customize a national radio campaign based on your budget while targeting your demographic. Contact me to find out how national radio can help your business be more profitable at 877-996-4327, extension 177. That's 877-996-4327, extension 177, and help me help you bring your business to the next level. Tired of taking handfuls of vitamin pills? Look and feel super with a great tasting liquid vitamin and mineral supplement called Passion for Life. This incredible one ounce daily drink can lead to better stamina and energy due to faster, more complete absorption. Passion for Life contains 135 all natural whole food ingredients. It's the best tasting, most powerful product of its kind on the market. Order now by calling 844 Try Life or find out much more about Passion for Life by visiting 844trylife.com. 844trylife.com. 
Free Talk Live. Did you say that you prostituted yourself when you were 10 years old? I was doing something of a sexual nature in return was that for... A woman or a... It was a next door neighbor. He was probably around 16. So he took advantage of you. He... No, sir. He didn't take he advantage of me. You. He corrupted you morally. No, no, sir. It was my choice to climb into his According window. It was Lord. my choice, listen. Lou. It was my choice to take my pants off and get into his listen, bed. It was all my listen choice, Lou. Listen to me, Ian. You do not have the right at the age of 10 to make that decision. Don't you dare tell me what I can and can't what do, mean, do don't Lou. You dare? I'm telling you, he molested you. No, Lou. You don't even Sorry, realize Lou, you, you don't understand what molestation is. Molestation is unwanted sexual advances. I consented. I know you don't believe that's possible. I know me better than you know me, Lou. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Bring up anything here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Plenty of time here for you to sneak your thoughts in. In these remaining moments of this edition of Free Talk Live, you don't get in tonight, no problem. We do it every single night of the week, seven nights a week, live from 7 to 10 at night Eastern Time. If you're not hearing us live uh, in the time frame, your radio station you're listening to may be delayed broadcasting the show, or you may be delayed uh, delaying the show by listening to our podcast. But either way, if you want to interact with us, just mark your calendar to call in during the appropriate time frame, and then you can listen to yourself later on. Uh, you can join us online over at freetalklive.com. And if you like what we're doing here on Free Talk Live, then please become a supporter of the show at amp.freetalklive.com. Become an amplifier. AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. And the idea is that you send five bucks a month in to the AMP program. We take that, invest it into Free Talk Live, use it to get on more radio stations. We are approaching 150 radio stations, which is very exciting. There are no other shows with a Liberty perspective that are on nearly as many stations. So thank you to our Free Talk Live amplifiers for helping us make that possible. It also helps us bring listeners online on board as well through Google AdWords. And right now when you become a Free Talk Live amplifier, the money that you contribute is doubled. It's matched by a group of very generous individuals who pledge to match up to $950 per month. We're currently raising, I think, around seven something uh, of that, 950 So we still can raise more and have that matched. So please become an amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. There's a bonus reason to do it, which is that uh, not only will it be matched by our generous contributors for the next several months, but also... When you AMP, you can get that AMP back. You can get your amount that you've pledged for that first month, 5 bucks or 10 bucks or whatever amount you choose. You can get that back as Bitcoin. So if you want to take advantage of that, when you sign up at amp.freetalklive.com, just send me an email at ian at freetalklive.com and include your Bitcoin address, and I will make sure that you get that Bitcoin over to you. Uh, 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. Go to amp.freetalklive.com. Johnny Ray, last week you had brought up a game for your Johnny Ray's Game of the Week and you barely had a chance to really scratch the surface of it. What was it called again? Magica. That's that's with a CK Magica. And this was uh, this was not a phone based game, correct? This was for it's your laptop. Steam, yep, Steam game, and I'm playing it on my uh, on my on my tablet. All right. So tell me more about it. You've had a chance to play it a little bit further than you did last week. Yep. Cost nine ninety nine, and okay, it's geez. 
It's got a that's that's expensive, isn't it, Mark? These are the phone based games. No, 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 this no. Is, no. This is Steam. This okay. is for your computer. Yeah, this is, that, is a, a PC game. So it's on on this. Is this a flash game? No, Steam okay. is a digital delivery service from Valve, who is a game publisher, and they're pushing out all kinds of games. I guess from, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about then. Okay. Yeah, from so, from AAA titles to to the simple to the simple, from free to seventy bucks or more. So Steam uh, originally started as a as a delivery system for Valve games. Right, if I'm recalling correctly, it's a, it's a product that you install on your computer, where you would go into this thing and you could buy a game digitally rather than going to the store and and buying it. Years ago, when Steam came out, this was a new way to receive a game from a game company. You're essentially getting it directly from the the game company in that case. And then they started getting into partnerships with other game distributors and independent uh, game makers. And now apparently there's quite a variety of games from all different companies available through the Steam platform. So if anybody's familiar with the, the Xbox or the PS3, uh, the, play, the PlayStation 3 or 4, uh, these are they have their own game delivery systems, right? So you can go into your PlayStation 3 and you can, or your Xbox, and you can order up games, and they're downloaded and they're installed into your Xbox. Steam does the same thing for your personal computer. Yep. Magica has got a look like Gauntlet, and it is. I think it will shine. I think it will be the most fun when you're playing with your Steam buddies. Hmm, okay. And I have only played single player. You're a mage, you've got an overarching quest that is very derivative of all the the fantasy uh, tropes, and the game sells itself on its sense of humor, among other things, and I'll get back to that in a minute. But the way you play the game is you walk around your world, and you've got for you you walk around Gandalf style with a staff in one hand and a sword in the other, and you've got your left hand. This Gandalf is, used no sword. Uh, he yes he did. It was a uh, glamdring, I think. Uh, all right, all or right. Or faux hammer or something. You have got under your left hand. When I say you, I'm talking about the player. You've got Q W E R A S D F, and those keys are all bound to eight quote unquote elements that you can combine. You can, th- these elements being fire, earth, water, ice, arcane, lightning, shield, and life. Mm-hmm. And what you do is you, you say, press uh, F for fire, and then press your right mouse button, and you're going to shoot some kind of fire out. Mm-hmm. Maybe you combine fire with water, and then you can scald your enemies with steam. So the, the fun of the game is to discover these new combinations. Do you discover them as you play? They you learn them, or is it just you can just press keys and come up with new combos? You can experiment and come up with these combos. Also, as you're playing, sometimes you'll find a book mm-hmm. which will give you a a recipe, if you will, for a new spell. Hmm. the The jokes I found to be a little weak, and so I think that I'm not going to be able to enjoy the game too much unless I round up some people to play with me. And Meaning the single player is just too arduous to to handle the plot. Like it's just too lame. Yeah, too lame. Okay. Yes. Now, Ian, I've only been playing this game for an hour, so the so the writing could get better. It's possible, but I think normally in these situations, the writing will always start at a high level, and then at the end, when the developers are sick of making the game, then the story gets gets progressively worse. Hmm. I'd agree with that. That they put their you, know, you put your best foot forward. And I would like to say that Shattered Planet is really just for it's it's kind of it kind of wore out its welcome with me um this you, is the one that garrett was talking about earlier yeah, I, I didn't have the courage to to share my true feelings while he was on the phone <laughs> but it's just in shattered planet you'll you the, the goal is to get new items because your clone dies every time you play and the only thing new about him mo- for the most part is the equipment that you equip to him and the game is just a giant collection of content. So I can get a bandana or a, I don't know, an Imperial Stormtrooper's helmet or something. So it's these cute little weapons and items that you can equip to yourself before you go down to the planet and kill these cute little monsters. But but it doesn't it doesn't introduce anything really new or exciting in terms of the, the gameplay. So there's no real motivation to continue hacking away at it? Yeah, it's just looking at new pictures, new mm-hmm. colors, that sort of thing. Got it. So you're done with that game? 
Yeah. And uh, Magicka, you're feeling like only multiplayer would really be the way you'd, you'd be able to tolerate it. Yeah. Um, also, uh, so not really a game of the week then. Just a game you've played this week. A lot of times I'll have games of the week that I don't like. It's true. How many games is the guy responsible for playing in a week? I mean, he's reviewing a game of the week. Good point. I guess I guess you're right. Game of the week doesn't necessarily suggest that it's going to be a good game, right? But when you look at game of the year, for instance, uh, when those things are given away uh, by you know gaming review companies, for instance, uh, they, that usually means it's a good game. So I now we're clear. Game of the week. It's just a game that Johnny Ray's played <laughs> and has an opinion about. <laughs> right. Um, also, Ian, this Magicka suffers for me because it's an action game. I really love to look mm. at a static screen with all sorts of options in front of me. Yep. I'm talking about strategy games now, you like, like the turn-based. Yeah, I love these turn these turn-based games where I can look and see and plan things out. And Twitch games, Twitch being a game that's really reliant on your hand-eye coordination, mm -hmm. they do not appeal to me near as much as a as a game like Civ or Alpha Centauri or XCOM yeah. or or what's the one that you that 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 you love with the mercenaries? Oh, Jagged Alliance. Jagged Alliance. Thank you. Jagged <laughs> Alliance has a new iteration out too. No way. Flashback. Really? Wait, what? Yeah, Jagged Alliance Flashback. Oh, awesome! I'll have to check that one out. Yeah, maybe we could make that a game of the week. All right, so uh, is there anything else you're playing at I'd this time? I'd try to get uh, Ian to pay for it for you. Like, you, you'll you play Jagged Alliance Flashback. Give him a review if he buys it. At this $10 a pop thing, well, we've uh, actually you're going to go broke. We've actually had uh, listeners uh, pony up games for Johnny Ray. Didn't somebody send you a download link or something recently? Somebody, yeah, what Magicka. I didn't pay nine ninety nine for it. Oh, so it was Magicka that somebody sent to you. Yeah, Tommy F. I'm afraid to say his full name. He hasn't given me permission to okay. do that. Okay, well, well, that's good. That's good that they give a little credit where credit's due. Thank you to uh, Tommy for sending along to Johnny Ray. It's not like the Liberty Janitors uh, raking in the dough here. He's uh, doing oh, he's his re review, reviews on his uh, very best. Well, now, okay. He's we not just here voluntarily. They're going to make him take, take the trash out when he's done. We need to we need to get Johnny Ray an email address one of these days because... Johnny Ray can have an email address as soon as he writes his bio and gives us a picture of true. him when he was when he's four. You can go to the info section of freetalklive.com and see all of us, all of our pictures with our little bios there. I don't know how old mine is, but I got to Maybe I got to rewrite it, but um, and a picture of people us. People keep we're emailing four. me asking how they can email Johnny Ray. He's a twin. Somebody, for God's sake, he doesn't even need to be a picture of him. He has a brother that looks exactly like him. You know, I wanted to say that somebody also sent me a game called How to Survive. Now this suffers on two levels. It's an action game and it's a zombie. You can't be getting into a review right now. You're going to have to do that next week. Thanks, Johnny Ray. We'll be back tomorrow online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. And if you want to reach out to Johnny Ray, give him a free game. Just send me the info. I'll pass it on. This. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kids' education, my money my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis, battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm.
The live edition of Peace News Now is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, May 27th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.13 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,279 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $565. Antiwar.com reports, reporters on the ground in the protester-held city of Slovyansk, Ukraine, say that at least three civilians were killed and more wounded yesterday when a mortar attack strayed into a residential neighborhood landing near an apartment block. The apartment block was not directly hit, but the impact shattered windows and many people were cut with flying glass. A second shell hit near a local college with similar results. Slovyansk and its neighboring city of Kramatorsk have been a primary target of the Ukrainian military as the first major cities in the northwest of the Donetsk Oblast. Gun battles were reported in several villages near the area as well. Some reports suggested that the Ukrainian military's shelling was retaliation for mortar strikes by a militia loyal to the secessionist People's Republic of Donetsk, though reporters say that at this point it is unclear who fired first, and both maintain their fire was retaliatory. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS are friends, allies, and numerary supporters. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. You can join the FANS program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S dot fppradio.com. The International Times reports, back from a surprise trip to Afghanistan, U.S. President Barack Obama said on Monday, the Afghan war, the longest in American military combat, will finally be over by the end of 2014. In a Memorial Day speech in Arlington, Obama said, we're at a pivotal moment. Our troops are coming home. By the end of this year, our war in Afghanistan will finally come to an end. Obama said he had gone to Afghanistan on the Memorial Day weekend to be with the troops Groups who are serving the cause of U.S. security 7,000 miles from home. In his remarks in Bagram, Obama had reiterated the U.S. post-2014 commitment to the Afghans and promised, now, even as our combat mission ends later this year, I want everybody to know in this country and across the region, America's commitment to the people of Afghanistan will endure. With our strategic partnership, we'll continue to stand with Afghans as they strengthen their institutions, as they build their economy, as they improve their lives, men and women, boys and girls. Al-Qaeda is on its heels in this part of the world, and that's because of you. Adding, everyone knows Afghanistan is still a very dangerous place. He said the U.S. would be prepared to continue cooperation with its Afghanistan partners on two security missions, training and equipping the Afghan forces and targeting counterterrorism targets against Al-Qaeda. In a comment that seems to indicate the war will never really end, Obama told the troops, our combat mission here will come to an end. The Al-Qaeda leadership may be on the ropes, but in other regions of the world, Al-Qaeda affiliates are evolving and pose a serious threat. We're going to have to stay strong and we're going to have to stay vigilant. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. Press TV reports China has carried out a broadside against the United States spying operations, saying they forced their way into every corner of the country. A report prepared by the China Academy of Cyberspace says U.S. spying operations penetrate every corner of China. The report said